everybody. Welcome to today's stream. We get started here in a moment. second but it looks like we are in so today we have a great event here to show you at planeswalkers we have a special guest judge jonathan from iron gate will be here for today's vanilla only build competition let's go ahead and jump into the voice channel and see who all is here for today's event <laughs> we've got their hey, regular residents their regular residents here hello, hello Bjorno. Yeah, but I've got no Pacific Ocean in the way of you are. <coughs> and right now I've got Kiwis across the street at the neighbor's house. <laughs> Grown or imported? I sent them over some maple syrup yesterday. You guys all pick a lot? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's easy to chase down, they've got no wings. Alright, so for, for those who little. are not familiar with the rules, so the rules are in the uh, rules channel on Discord. Uh, just to go over it briefly, you get 120 minutes. Uh, we take a, a break halfway through at one hour. Uh, you can only use the materials provided for you in the chests at your lot. And of course, you can't team up or interfere with another player's build. Pretty straightforward. So at the end of the competition, there will be a judging phase where we'll go through and find the winner. And of course, we'll explain the scoring for that when we get to that point. And also at half halftime today, uh, Jonathan from Iron Gate will be jumping in to scope out the builds, and he will also be one of the judges during the judging phase. Hell yeah! Does anyone have any questions uh, regarding that, I, or is it, I'm pretty sure everyone who's here today has built here before during this event? Uh, WRF gamer, I think just watched last time, Bjorno. Yep. Welcome. First of all, welcome. Yeah. Um, mm. If you have any questions at all regarding this, don't hesitate to, to ask. Don't be shy. And uh, don't don't Ooh. ask Knife. He he's a grumpy old man. <laughs> the tools uh, provided. Um, use that in the tools tool chest. Tools. There yeah. should be a tools box there. Yep. Yeah. All right. Hammers. Hammer. Perfect. Diverger lamp. Got it. Pick. So today's theme is Lighthouse. Uh, Helga, did you want to go over a little bit as to what you feel should be included in a Lighthouse build? Um, a light. Um, uh -oh. sorry, I have a mouthful of pieces, just as you asked me. Um, <laughs> sorry, Cheez-Its. Cheez lighthouse must have Cheez-Its. Lighthouse <laughs> must be cheesy. No. Um, basically, um... The two things I thought of was it has to project a light. Um, uh, everything, the build is constrained by uh, material strengths, so you can't go too far high, otherwise it might start collapsing. Um, and I think in some of the experiences I had, when you build tall, the um, rendering of the light disappears. So you want to keep that in mind that if you build it too tall, you might not actually get the desired effect and look you were looking for. Um, Functionality. For that, um, you can do anything from, what is it, the, the Great Lighthouse, the Pharos, the Colossus of Rhodes Lighthouse, or simple, um, you know, Eastern shoreline, uh, Eastern continental U.S. shoreline, you know, round lighthouse build, traditional uh, ostentatious, ostentatious, um, any kind of, you know, medieval, ancient, um, mythical, legendary, you know, whatever your creative uh, pieces can okay. come up with. So here, here's another quick question. Are we being judged on workbenches and the like, such as, you know, things that would make workbenches be like level five, like we had to do in the tiny house? The judging phase will be exactly the same as it was for the last two events. 
Uh, but the only thing that's changing is the one of the categories will will fit specifically to the lighthouse theme. So that's the only thing that's... that would be changing. So it's a light and a house. The lighthouse should need crafting as part of a function. But... Exactly. You want to think what you really want to delve into what the theme is and try to base your utility off that. So Does it function a as a lighthouse? No. So Helga, that means light and a house, right? Um, yeah, I think light and a house. In one it's building, fine. yep. Yes. Um, Traditionally, they had a um, shelter for the for the lighthouse keeper. Yeah, so yeah, yeah it's or something, yeah. Someone yep. to maintain it. All right, if there's no further questions, we can go ahead and get this started. Hey. All right. All right, I'm going to go and count down to this. And build camera is allowed, correct? Build yep. camera and gizmo are the only two mods allowed. Because they oh, do we not can affect the vanilla. We, the gizmo we is gizmo allowed? Is. We approved gizmo specifically because Jonathan's going to be here. And we wanted to show it off to Iron Gate because we think it's something that could be easily added well, into the vanilla. Then I need to hop back out and everybody hop back needs in. To re, did, did I, everybody needs to reload. I updated the rules last night, but I probably should have said something. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't the rules pop up at all. I, I had no, no say in those rules. No, there was no rules so I posted. Bjorn. It'd be really nice but, to have Jonathan. Uh, yeah, they are. If you go to the rules channel back. and look at the vanilla only build, uh, under mods it says Gizmo is off now authorized. Uh, it's just it's 3rd of January, so I didn't see a new one. That's sorry about that. Yep. it would be good to have him convinced of rotation. So I'll give you guys uh, two, two or three minutes to get out and back in with that mod enabled and then we'll get started of course if you're watching on twitch and you haven't already hit that follow button it gives you an opportunity to stay up to date with what we got going on lets you know when we go live with events of course we do stuff with uh guests all the time you know jonathan from iron gate will be here today so we may have a different guest next time someone from the valheim community or the gaming community so if you want to stay updated with that hit that follow button of course, it also supports the team. Can we request a guest, like Dolly Parton or something? Sure. Do it. Dolly Parton's You're like, in... I have no idea what you guys are doing. You're in charge of uh, getting a... She would definitely Bro be excited for it, though. I, I, want the guy, I want the guy that plays Ragnar on the show Vikings. <laughs> well, they, <laughs> got, got, they, they got him you for that one show that bombed, so maybe we can get him. <laughs> If you want the guy, you have to know his name. Jeez. Yeah, it's Ragnar. The unemployed dude. So I take it we did not like that show. Or y'all did not. Raised by Wolves was oh. the show I was mentioning. Oh. I like that. It was a decent show, he, but it got canceled. He was on that too, wasn't he? Prime or HBO? Yeah. Like pa Paramount, maybe? I can't remember where I'm watching Vikings. Yeah, these days, a cancellation has absolutely nothing to do with the quality of the show. I That's completely agree. I just no, don't like getting invested just... in a show if I know it's going to end without an ending. There, there are, it's like a big tease. There are direct oh. correlations where the production value was so good that it was so expensive that they couldn't continue making the show. Oh, oh, oh you mean shows like Game of Thrones that just quit? Ugh. Seeing people pop back in, so should be getting started here momentarily. Oh, thanks, YouTube. Now it's started searching for who you guys and it's brought up. Oh, and I, I, I have to do shameless plug time. I posted this event on the Valheim Players Group on Facebook. So did I, actually. So if you're coming from the, the Valheim Players Group from, on, from Facebook... Let us know in chat, because uh, I really like that group. They're very friendly and kind, and we, of course, welcome everyone who comes from all those places. But if you come from the Facebook group, let us know. Everybody back in? Yep. Yes. All right, I'm going to go ahead gonna... and do a roll call real quick. Uh, I'm yeah, going to call your call lot number, numbers. and you just tell me you, if you're on that lot so we know. And if you're in the game. Right. So, lot number one. That's Helga, and I'm here jumping. Lot number two. 
That would be Gatoth, and I am present. Bot three. No one on. Oh, yeah, knife. knife. No, lot four. Sorcha. Sorcha. Sorcha, I'm here. Lot five. WSR. Ready to go. No one on lot six. Nope. And lot seven is Ungoliant. Yep. Lot eight is not being used. So we have all but two lots used today. So nice. We'll have six nice. builds to judge. And it sounds like everybody's in and everybody is on their lot. So are we ready to go? I'm trying to get in, but I... Oh, yeah. I'm are you building too. speed or are you judging? I can't even log in at the moment, dude. So I'm, I'm just... Yeah. Okay. Carry on. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and begin our third iteration of the vanilla only build competition in five, four, three, two, one. You can build. Seems like I can only help other people sort this shit out, not my own. So each player gets two hours. Uh, we take a break halfway through so that they can get a break without the timer counting down on them. Of course, if they need to get up during the event, they can. We don't have any rules saying they can't. But, yep, starting yeah, at two yep. hours. You have two hours. At the end, you have a lighthouse. What you do in between... It's up to you. I was about to say, Rogue goes around and ties everybody to their chairs. <laughs> Again? Didn't we do that last time? Or hangs them under in the cage underneath the world? Oh, I have no clue. Yeah, I was going to say, has anyone heard from Magnus or is he still in his cage? Because we haven't seen him for a while since then. Yeah. Not only that, he's in a cage in a different world. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, Magnus was supposed to co-commentate with me, but it, that just kind of never happened. Not sure what's up. What's going on with Magnus? Yeah. I hope everything's okay. Yep. So right now we're looking at lot seven, which is Ungoliant. Do you have any... Did you come in here with a plan? Did you practice lighthouse builds before you came to today's event? I will admit that I am operating in bad faith today because it's April Fool's. I do have a plan, but it's... it's... So you do have a plan, okay. And is is this going to be... I don't, I don't want to spoil much, but is this going to be a black marble bill? Oh, is it going to be child, child, child friendly is my question to you, Angola. What? Is it child friendly? <laughs> Not really. EG? <laughs> no, because as soon as you said April Fool's, something sprung up in my mind. Oh, and Jonathan so. becoming today is not April Fool's. He will be here. I, I didn't know about that. Until now. <laughs> I see Helga's going to use all his stone on the earth instead of actual stone. I'm just going to raise a huge <laughs> fire and just put a bonfire on the top of it. There you go. Gatoth, tell me you came in. You said, if I remember correctly, through DMs that you were practicing a build, right? Uh, I have been practicing, and I will just say this without giving uh, too much away. Uh, I got some tricks up my sleeve for today. And I, think I do have some good ideas, too. But... So we're, we're, we're going to get to see if all of this practicing and so on and so forth was to my benefit or detriment. Hey, practice makes perfect, in my opinion. Of course, perfect doesn't exist, but... To me, you get better with practice. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. Alrighty. Well, we we shall definitely see uh, if uh, if Helga navigates his way to victory, or if it's somebody else. All right, knife. Oh, What's the plan? Not entirely sure yet. So you're winging it today, okay? Yeah, I I did a little bit of something like an hour or so ago 
but I haven't really planned it. Well, currently, Knife, yours is the one that looks most like a lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, that's saying a lot with 10 or 12 pieces down. <laughs> Sorsha, you're probably, I want to say, slightly higher favored in this event. Being from the Builders group, the Builder Syndicate, and just being overall just a really good builder. Thank you. Do you feel... I mean, Go ahead, Rook. I was going to say, I mean, a lighthouse could be, you know, like a three, four story tiny home, you know? Right. Are we going to... Sorchi, did you come up with a plan? Or... And she's flying in the air. I have a... Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, I have a, a vague idea, but uh, I was... Health was doing a struggle, so I'm mostly winging it. Hey, that, that means not even you are sure how it's going to come out, so that makes it more interesting in my opinion. Nope. All right, being that this is your first time, WSR, did you were you aware of the theme for today, and did you prepare to build a lighthouse yeah, with a plan? There, and I did prepare. So far, I didn't prepare enough for the plot. I had a big build. Mm. This plot is pretty big. I like yeah, the uh, theme so far. It's not lie. That's like interesting. <laughs> I like your your detail on that bottom with those wood pieces. Yep. All right, so we've gone through and spoken to all the participants. All right. Some deciding to go with the traditional circular pattern for their build, for their lighthouse build. It'll be interesting to see if we're going to get more traditional lighthouses in the sense, or if we're going to see something possibly that we haven't seen before. This game does have a lot of possibilities when it comes to the building system, so you can make something that you typically wouldn't see for a lighthouse. And that may give a player an edge when it comes to the scoring and the judging process. How much do you want to impress Jonathan when he comes in? Hmm. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> Welcome to the dark. Oh my god! Thank you, uh, Nezrez for Life for the Follow. It's greatly appreciated. Let's not stop there. We're trying to get to 100 followers. Uh, right now we're at 82. Nez, if you want to get in in the build competition, if you go to our Twitter page, uh, we are PWC Valheim. V at the very top, there's an invite link. Just click that. Come right into our Discord, and anyone is welcome to join. You can also see some of our posts on Valheim LFG, the Reddit. You can get, grab the invite link from there, too. I would, I would argue anybody nice, but we don't like mean people. Oh. Hey, Helga, I'm going to go now. Like, you know and of course, uh, I posted a link to the invite oh, in the, in the chat. Just click that and you should be good to go. What stuff Tomorrow. working? My gizmo's not working. We um, really like our builders here. In fact, uh, in my opinion, we have two of the top five builders in Valheim on our server. With uh, Mythic and Arty artifacts. And of course, we have a lot of other good builders like Sorsha and ones that are really good. So if you're a, if you're a builder and you are interested in maybe learning a thing or two, we welcome you. Can you guys hear me okay? Or are my levels good? Yes. Awesome. Shit, 
that screws up my plan. Right back. Uh, looks like a world save is coming in. We love world saves. Oh, yeah, they're the best. <laughs> mm, it's <laughs> oh, bother. World saves kill a speedo. Nice mod pack with no um, no settings. I like how it correlates. Oh bother, and it. Yeah, that. He's dead, Jim. Twice over. Ooh. Oh, I should repeat something that I said in voice before everybody logged in, but. Uh... With gizmo in use, pieces like the 2x4 meter stone wall, the large stone wall, if rotated on its side, it still retains the same stability properties, but you'll get more height. Well, it's definitely going to make for something like that. I like the... Um, the, the corner 30 degree wood pieces rotated to be 60 degree sort of for um having parts of the building stick out i used like some tudor style houses it's pretty nice hmm. the new angled uh wood pieces or the original wood pieces not the, the core wood was newer yeah the original wood okay hmm. oh, it's Oh, no, I'm getting rotate. Hmm, your F1 config? That's what I'm looking at right now. Yeah. Yeah, like build cameras inverse or something. Come on, guys. I know there's quite a few of you watching. If you haven't hit follow, we're trying to get to 100 followers. We're not that far off, so all the help is appreciated. And of course, I posted a link to the Discord into the chat. And of course, you guys are welcome to join and you are welcome to participate. We do this event every month. And of course, the theme is always chosen by whoever wins. So you never know what the next theme could be. It could be anything, really. And of course, Helga being the current champion, he chose Lighthouse. And of course, we've done Tiny Home, and we've done Odin's Sacrificial Altar. Oh my god! It was the first one before that open-ended. Undercova, thank you for the follow. I believe it was. Or was it a house? To build a house? No, because somebody built a car. Yeah, that was a uh, gudgeon. Car. I think that was just open, right? That wasn't... There was no problem. Yeah, that one didn't have a theme. I'm occasionally just doing a free build. But it's hard for you to judge if they don't have a certain theme. Just passing through. Helga, do you feel like raising the ground is going to help you get a taller lighthouse than the others? Or do you feel like with the way... The game is now, most people know how to get tall structures without messing with terrain. Well, well Bob, it's a three-dimensional game. We need to work in three dimensions in order to win victory. There you go. I mean, you can't argue with that. <laughs> Literally, it's just logic. Logic bomb. Um, I think dramatic effect, you know, if you have a lighthouse perched on a cliff, it's hard to represent that with a flat ground. Versus... It's I agree, like, once you can put them on a promontory over the water, so we'll be up on some rides. His raised ground is, his raised ground is decoration. Yeah. Gathoth, yours almost looks like a chessboard. 
That was the intended effect for the flooring. I really like it. Why, thank you. Born to Glansbrook 5. I'm, I'm going to go on a limb and say <laughs> marble is probably one of the best things that Iron Gate has added to the build system as far as new assets. It just looked really good. They did a good job with that. And the way it accents with stone pieces is just chef's kiss. I'll have to say knife's status as most likely a lighthouse. I, I think he's just lost it. <laughs> no, it still looks like a lighthouse. Yes, but what I'm saying is he's not the one that most looks like a lighthouse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Somebody else just got more lighthousey. More than lighthousey. Dorn, Dorn was racking his brain. Where? Which one you're talking about? Okay. Probably okay. Ingoliant, right? Yeah. Can't get more lighthouse than lighthouse. But I, but I feel WSR is a dark horse. Yep. I, I yeah, me too. We've never seen him build before, so we're not sure what to expect. It's a mystery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I've I've seen Gatath build, and I still don't know what to expect. He he literally just has like a, a dart board, and he just throws a dart at it, and he's like, "Okay, that's what I'm doing. Core wood today." Light. Let there be light. You, you, light. You, you guys got jokes until I <laughs> kick your ass. <laughs> I mean, I, we'll see when the judging phase happens. But I have a feeling, you know, after doing a couple of these, you're probably going to have an edge because you just know what to expect. So it's anybody's game. And when you're kicking my ass, am I crying or am I laughing? Well, you're not participating, Speed, so no one's kicking your ass today. <laughs> well, I, you know, I got my ass kicked before I got here. You can help me judge with with uh, John from Iron Gate when he comes in. Uh, you're going to make me? You okay. are the Builder Syndicate <laughs> representative. You're the one that's awake. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm not really. That's why I'm not in. I'm, I, I went. It is. Quarter to eight in the morning, my time, I went to bed at about half past five. I can always stream, and you could just watch the stream and help me do this I'm morning. watching that now, yep. And I am doing something else. Um, I'll put a portal down for you, um, so you can drag him over here, if you are that way inclined. I'll suss it out during um, the break, though. Uh, somebody in chat named Real Mythic Builds? Says, Gatoth looks like he's going to run out of materials in the first half. That's not a real person, is it? That's not real mythic. That's not a real mythic. It's, it's, not it's, mythic. It's, it's, it's just a myth. It's, it's a god in disguise. Of course, I see quite a few of you in on the Twitch page watching, so don't go anywhere. Jonathan will be here in 41 minutes to... Jump in at halftime and help judge. So, Mythic says he's as real as a donut. How real are donuts? Because I are they cake? Because the cake is a lie, and the donut it could be a cake donut. I could go for a donut. Where I live, they have taco donuts. They do have taco actually, donuts now. I've actually has seen to see some independent films that were filmed in a local place we have called Donut Taco House. Two. There were three of them, actually. I think it was filmed in Donut Taco Palace 3. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so we've gotten two followers so far. Uh, who is going to be number three? I know it's coming. You guys have been awesome today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Will Gatoth finish his build? It's, it's what the, the chat wants to know. Uh, see, I was going to say... Uh... 
in relation to him running out of materials, we'll probably get a surprise. It'll probably be a surprise to him, too, where his build, you know, upper half turns to wood. <laughs> yeah, so the... But, but, but is it going to be a surprise? <laughs> so there's only so much of each material that they could use inside uh, the chests that, at, the, at the competition site. So if they run out of marble or stone, they're going to have to figure out another way to finish their build. And sometimes you have to go and cannibalize a little bit and pull from other places to get it done. So we try to okay, give them... That, that's really weird. I can't build right now. Yeah, what? Your hammer has it run out of durability. Uh, All of the blocks are it's not my hammer... Yeah. But I'm at 288 of 450 pounds, and my stamina is not regenerate. Hold on. Unequip you're and re equip your belt. Yeah, you're yep. overburdened. And remember to eat. Everybody's got good food. Well, it still says I'm at 288 of 450, and my stamina is still not regenerate. Let me throw everything down out of my inventory. I don't know why my top pieces are blue. I don't think they're supposed to be. I don't know what's going on there. Oh. Ungolian having the most lighthouse looking building so far. And I see what you mean, Ungolian. Yeah, I know how far I can build roughly, but I just like to jump in a cheap. There we go. Yep. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm blaming the black marble. That black marble's having an effect. I haven't built yeah, enough yeah. stone and black marble to see the effect. Black okay. marble does have an increased uh, stability over the standard stone. It's not quite as good as iron, but it is better than standard stone. Mythic already trying to poach WSR for the Builder Syndicate. <laughs> he says he looks promising. Are you talking about that mystery person in the chat? Yes, the, the person who claims they're the real mythic builds. Yeah. That's from a question only the real mythic would know. It's just a story. <laughs> Does anybody know why the build camera like when you hit A, you move forward rather than left. Oh, it's the uh, uh, like second or third from the end of the settings. It's like uh, reference to the world yep. instead of to oh, you. Yeah. Move, move Turn with respect off. to the world. Turn that off. Oh, thank you. It's seriously annoying, isn't it? If you run short of materials, it has. I don't know why that's such a. Um, default. So, this person default. says, will the real Mythic Builds please stand up? But the real Mythic Builds couldn't make it to his own group's event, so he's not here to stand, unfortunately. He didn't make it today, Guy, whoever you are. Ah, uh, he's a counterfeit. A real Mythic sits in a chair. It's true. Okay. Interesting how the stones were gizmoed like this for your build, Helga. Um, I support the team. When I first saw Helgas, I thought he'd made a mistake, but I see what he's go where he's going for. You do? Can you please tell me? He's not sure. I'm not sure much. Sure. <laughs> so the winning lighthouse will be featured on our modded server Katagat at the Western Shipyard. Right now, there's nothing there, so there's going to be a brand new lighthouse there shortly after this is over. Well, are we planning to paste these around Asgard? 
Are we going to find some spots on Asgard to move them? Uh, we're get, actually setting up a... Uh, I, I'm trying to expl- think of how to explain it. It's going to be like a museum of uh, the winning builds, and they're all going to be downsized so that you can walk through and see all the winners. So soon that will be a thing. And of course we blueprint all the buildings that come through here. If people want to take their building and use it for their own personal whatever. You want a lighthouse at your home? You want to use it? We could blueprint it and put it down for you. Yeah, I might want my tiny house built. I did spend some time afterwards working on it some more. Never completely finished it. Yeah, I'd like mine too, actually. It's in the mail. Yeah, he, he had to put it on a USB drive and he's mailing it to you, so it may take a couple yep. months. That uh, check for that um, eagle is also in the mail, Sultra. Yeah, alrighty. I only do it in um, coins, so I hope you like five cent pieces. Yeah, Angolian, I'm looking at Knife's build is all black marble, and he's he's up eight or ten meters, and it's all blue on the outer walls. I have some iron hidden there too, but oh, you do. That's right. He has iron in there. But still, some of the pieces that don't touch the iron. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like stability is different on this server. Because this this was not this stable when I was trying it earlier. So here. Well, hopefully the winner survives on Kattegat. <laughs> <clears throat> so I've had that issue before. Um as well where um, mod uh, admin can influence the build around them just their location well and Goliance is starting to look more like the old woman that lived in a shoe Those spiral staircases are, I want to say, top three most used new things added in Mistlands. It's just so nice having a, a spiral staircase while having to use those wood beams. Absolutely. Well, I'm not using one. <laughs> Although it was tricky to find the right structures that fit around them perfectly. Right. There's right. a couple ways to do it that, that takes some practice. Um, Nez, I posted the link to the Discord in the chat. You can click on that. I can post it again. One second. Just I click on that. Ahead. Oh, he says, where can I get on it? On this, I don't have Twitter. If you're looking to join the event right now, you, you can't join once it's already started. Um, because the countdown, you would get less time than everybody else. And But you are in the in the group. So uh, look out for the next event and make sure you hit that RSVP so we know that you're coming. Okay, so that's that one. Where's that one go? That blue goes a long way, Angolian. So Knife, are you using the hot tub to get your comfort bonus? Well, I just put it down there while we were goofing around waiting to start. <laughs> you can click the hammer that much faster okay, when that... your stamina regens. Ned says he only needs an hour to win. Dang. Tough words, man. I mean, if I'm you can get if shake, you can man. get logged in to Asgard and get to the competition site and pick a plot and start building and win. Maybe you should be the Yarl here. 
Is that the prize for the day? No. <laughs> Damn it. It's it's getting to hear nice things from Jonathan. I changed my name. I say nice things to you all day. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> And yeah, Nez, this isn't the only event that we do. Uh, we do a couple different ones. Of course, right now we're focusing on our new modded, on our modded server's new season that's coming up here in a couple weeks. We're just adding new content to it. But once that's done, we'll get back to the occasional event every week or so. We have a yeah, PvP yeah, event. Yeah. We have a survival event. We have this. We have a car racing event. So lots of cool stuff to do. I was going to say, welcome, Ahsoka, and he left. <laughs> You can still say it. <clears throat> they mean it. I think the theme of the first one was um, a comfortable place, wasn't it? I like think it was meeting. just like because we, we, some of us did houses, some of us did. Um, Looking at the builds, most of them were um, home. Homage. Nez says that he posted his uh, lighthouse in Discord. Ah, in introductions. Whoa, that's pretty cool looking, dude. Lots of iron. So much iron. Twenty-eight minutes until we reach our halfway point. Twenty-eight minutes until we embarrass ourselves in front of Iron Gate. Currently, I vote Sorsha's build as most likely a spaceship on a stick. <laughs> Damn, 12k is a lot, Nez, to be honest. Oh. That's the total of everybody's build here. Yeah. Sarsha, you lost my vote now. Damn. No, for a space, spaceship on a stick. It's not a spaceship anymore. Spaceship's going to be spiky. That's supposed to be my adult response. Well, and I, I, I kind of hate I shared Sarsha what I was working on, guess. Now she probably knows what I'm going to do, but that's okay. Yeah, Ness, we yeah. have a PvP My arena. knowing is not particularly uh, relevant. We also are using the NPC Marketplace mod on Katagat, of uh, course, not on this one, but... Helga, you spent a lot of time getting the, like, I want to say, like, the core, like, the foundation of your lighthouse down. 
just right? Do you feel like that is more important than just trying to build the tallest structure as fast as you can? Uh, no. Um, if you look from above, it's supposed to be a circle. Uh oh. <laughs> is it supposed to be a circle? Is it? Is the lighthouse supposed to be circular? <laughs> I have the worst circle maker in um, that island. I could not get in my circle circle. I didn't I want know to say anything. anything. I didn't say anything because I thought it was intentional. Hey, no. uh, Bam Brad, welcome to the stream. Of course, we're been... 25 minutes away from hitting our halfway point, and then Jonathan from Iron Gate will be joining us. If you haven't already, hit that follow button. We're trying to get to 100 followers. So I notice quite a few of you in, in chat right now. You guys hit that follow button. Greatly appreciated. I think we only need like 16 more to get to 100. Getting pretty close. Helga should have went with that. I I meant to do that. Uh, yes, it's an elliptical. See, to think we followed the patterns of planetary motion around gravitational body. Well, I see oh. you climb climbing. Don't forget build camera. No, I just wanted to see if I could actually climb up the stairs. I, I that's the first. Spiral staircase I've built. Ah. With the new pieces. I've built a manual one where you angle and change each step. I've only built a couple of spiral staircases. They were very small and I never used them. Mm. You sure you're not building a jail, Gatoth? <laughs> they burn the prisoners for life. Yeah. You'll see, you'll see. It's 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 going to be unique. I like it so far. Is it a winner? I can't say. Not say or you won't say. W will I be happy with it? Yes. I guess you can say the sky is the limit. Uh Actually, oh, no. actually, we found out recently when you get up high enough, it becomes a dungeon. <clears throat> oh, Knife is also doing his best impression of an oval. Mm. I like these <laughs> windows, Knife. <laughs> They're not done yet. Oh, I like that they follow the stairs. Yeah. Hmm. We'll have to find that uh, spotlight mod. Hmm. Well, that's interesting, Sorsha. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it looks cool and I like it. So... Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. It looks cool. I'm starting to think it looks like uh, something Batman would fly. Dang it. He's building in the dark. Sounds like an 80s song. Hey, we're building. We're yeah, building. Dio. Just building in the dark. <laughs> I know there's a dancing in the dark. Uh, yeah, Nez, this is a uh, vanilla build. He, no one would be flying except admins. <laughs> vanilla itch. It's more like French vanilla. French vanilla is, okay. French vanilla oh. is delicious. I like what Knife did with his. Canadian vanilla? It's a little French or something? Just a little bit. Depends on where you are. Not so much here. Knife is looking like it's two generations of Lighthouse, like it, there was an upgrade. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. On this one, Ness? Ness says one of these looks like a ball sack. I don't know which one. I think I Angolian. I'm not even watching it. I'm pretty sure it's Angolian. That one. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Jokes on him. They all look like ball sacks. You just wait. You can look. Just don't we'll I hope you've done. Later, I ha we'll do it now. I just hope you've done a lot of study this week, Angolian. Knife, apparently yours looks like a ball sack, so you're disqualified. <laughs> it's a ball sack, is it? All right. yeah, yeah, I guess so. That's what they're saying. Okay. Oh, that's one weird ball sack. Sorsha had plans from the beginning. Has the rope got a spear five for minutes? Uh oh. Another voice channel? Ah, yeah, okay. If that's uh, convenient. Pick one. So I'm noticing that WSR is the only one to have a detached, like, well, it's not detached, it's like a separate housing structure attached to their lighthouse, whereas most are having the lighthouse be the house. That was the plan. Something interesting. Like, Go ahead. It's uh, something that brings me home. I'm a Nova Scotian, so. Ah, uh, yes. So you know what you're doing. I scream unfair advantage. <laughs> My father was a lighthouse keeper. His father was a lighthouse keeper. Actually, rum runners. <laughs> More likely, yeah. I make this better now that I have Gizmo. I can switch these things around. It's always nice to have more Canadians in the group. Knife is uh, from Ontario, right? God. Seventeen minutes until ha our halfway point. If you haven't started working on the actual tower of your structure, I'm not sure if you want to start on that on the second half, but you should probably have something down. Gatoth, you're the only one that doesn't have a tower up yet. Be well, patient. Flat, flat lighthouses. I don't see Would you Would you just yet, be Ness. patient? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, it, all week Gatoth has been heckling us about how he's going to win, so. <laughs> hey, he got he got people talking. He People saw those messages. Yeah, all's fair in love and building. Exactly. As Mythic would say, oh, wait, no, he wouldn't say because he's not here. Actually, get colder here. That's <laughs> <laughs> why the lighthouses are shorter. Now, for mine, you have to imagine that it is up on a bluff for it to make sense. Because it isn't going to be very tall, but. If it were up on a bluff, it would make sense. I say he's bluffing. Yeah, I'm That's calling your think. bluff. Mm. See, I built a bluff. Sounds like it. So you're saying your lighthouse isn't going to be a tower? Okay.
It's interesting to see what everyone's going to be using as their light source. There's so many different light sources you can use. As long as your lighthouse gives off light, you'll be good. Just whatever you choose to do that with is what's going to make the lighthouses stand out from each other. Why are there like 400 death mosquitoes over here? Oh, they're the bodyguards. They they followed the odor. Ooh. <laughs> they can I, they can they can follow the smell of big talk. They can smell that ego a mile away. Uh, yep. I was gonna say. <clears throat> Good old rain. Like nobody likes building in a thunderstorm. But you know what they say, it ain't bragging if you can do it. <laughs> 14 minutes until we hit the halfway mark. I know I gotta clean up this mess over here, it's bugging me. Gatoth is taking a lead because he's got lights. True. <laughs> but he doesn't have a tower yet, he just has a house. Wait, what was the competition about? Lighthouse? I'm pretty sure that means like a <laughs> lighthouse, not a house that has light. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing here again? You guys built yours out of stone. The lightest one We're is building out, a made a out of wood. We're building a kitchen. The lightest house is made of wood. Mine's filled Balsa. with helium. Balsa wood. <laughs> oh yeah? Mine's filled with hydrogen. <sighs> wow. Dude, you've never learned from Hindenburg, have you? Tritium. <laughs> nope. Mine has tritium. Highly flammable. Oh, switch, switch, switch to unobtainium. It's more okay. fuel efficient. Okay, Hydrogen this is definitely only flammable when you mix it with oxygen and a few other chemicals. By itself, it is useless. I, uh, Ungoliant wins. Hands down, that's it. So, Ungoliant, your yeah. tower looks like it has boobs on it. No, 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 no it's better, it's better, it's better no, than it's better. that. A ball sack it's, with boobs? I mean, I, no. Gatoth is not judging this afternoon. No, no, Bjorno, the whole thing is a dick and balls. Ah. Yeah. I had to reload my my uh, build camera stuff, but yes, yeah. So yeah, I didn't want to speak. Those of you spoil, who are but... in our chat channel <laughs> and Twitch know that you have to hit that mature content button before you get in here. <laughs> I actually checked the Steam TOS. It should be okay. <laughs> so my husband brought it up. He's like, um, "Aren't they streaming this?" It's like, "Well, it is an adult server, so." It's all labeled mature. We have a sense of humor here. I think she's trying to make up for something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Shots fired. <laughs> I mean, people in chat, I mean, do you guys want me to like go on video and dance or something? Hit that follow button. Come on. <laughs> Free entertainment. You mean you're nice. going to type the dance command? Yeah, basically. No singing aloud. Hello. 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 Is that Nez? This is Jonathan from Wingate. Oh, hey, Jonathan. Welcome. Hey. Welcome. Thank you. I've joined... never heard your voice before. <laughs> I just hey. joined your server. I wish that I had. I'm over here right now. Let me see if I can find it. You have your map marker turned off, too, by the way. Oh, OK. Sorry. There we go. So we are. This way. This is our portal hub for this server, and the build of the competition is going on over here. Oh, uh, things aren't working at the moment. So, yep, cool. somebody go lead them. Yep, yep. I got him. You got him. All right. Yep. Let him go. There's... When you're with him, please, bro. 
there are uh, six contestants on this area for eight eight players. There's room for eight. There's just two empty slots, so six and six and eight are empty that you can uh, waltz around and see what everybody's building. Yep, the okay. theme okay. is lighthouse. So, it if you feel um, that theme isn't up to if you feel the building isn't up to the theme, definitely feel free to give feedback. <laughs> ask some questions. Because yeah, I'm sure they're going to be talking to you. We like to, we like to poke them. <laughs> yeah. So what are the rules for this competition? Besides the theme, I mean. So they get two hours to to build uh, whatever building the, the winner chooses from the last event. So the last winner, Helga, won and chose Lighthouse as the theme. So they have two hours to build the Lighthouse... And of course, they take a break halfway through, and they have to use the materials that we provide at the each lot number. The lot numbers are numbered one through eight. So you can't build off your lot. You can't go into another player's lot and interfere with other builds. And of course, it is a vanilla build contest, so you can't use any modded pieces. They can. We did authorize Gizmo because we wanted to show you specifically this, and because we've showed Grim this as well. Just to showcase uh, being able to rotate the vanilla pieces on the Z axis as well. How it gives new life to buildings. All, all three axes. All yep. three axes. Not just okay. a flat plane. Yeah. Yep. Just want to. Yeah. That could be a bug in your head. <laughs> so all, all players have the same pieces, like the same uh, inventory. Yes. Yeah. Yep, same materials. Same inventory. Okay. I've got a blueprinted, so everybody gets exactly the same. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I really uh, think it's a it's a neat idea you, that you guys run these competitions. So I'm glad I could join as well. That's awesome that you that you think it looks cool. It means a lot. If you want to if you want to play pick slot eight, six or eight over here, you can start building. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a bit late to the party for that. <laughs> hey, Ahsoka, welcome to the stream. So, work, Sim will be hitting the halfway point. Players uh, can use the restroom or step away and stretch, and the timer will be stopped. And then we'll begin the second half, and then we we'll just look forward to the judging phase. And uh, Jonathan, I sent you the judging criteria uh, yeah. in a DM. Well, of course, we'll go over it more as we get closer to that part of the competition. Yeah, sounds good. So, Jonathan, so think, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, I take it the spiral staircase is a, a popular item in this build. <laughs> I mean, in, yes. in most of these builds. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. <laughs> for people who aren't aware of what you do at Iron Gate, do you maybe want to intro introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I am uh, programming, uh, mainly programmer, slash engineer, slash uh, designer, I guess. Uh, most of us do a little bit of everything, but we are, it's just like me and Richard, who's the founder, who are coders. So at the moment, I do most of the coding on, on the game. Oh, wow. Um, and, uh, and a bunch of other stuff too, like, uh, it's, uh, sadly I can't just write code all day, I have to like take care of the builds and uh, make sure that things are released in a decent order. Uh, but I have several others helping with everything as well. So. What I really like about you guys in Iron Gate specifically is that you guys are not shy to just all be on Twitter sharing what you guys are doing. And I love that ab about how open you guys are with the community. Yeah, it's more fun for us too. I mean, I'm glad we can do that as well. Uh, like for Miss Lens, we, we had said like, yeah, let's try to be a little bit more, like not spoil too much stuff. Um, like we were a little bit split on that, but like, yeah, the marketing people were like, yeah, it's probably good to not show everything. Yeah. So we're like, okay, let's try that. But I think like, if you don't want to be spoiled, then people will not look at those things. So it's more fun for all of us when we can share stuff. Yeah, and you guys I, try not to spoil it. You guys, like, give little teases. I, I enjoy that because, uh, yeah, it could spoil it maybe a little bit. Maybe there's something in the background they may see. But overall, you guys are trying to just give little snippets to get the community excited. 
Yeah, exactly. I mean, there there will all be, always be stuff that we won't share as well. Um, so it's not like everything, all the information is out there, but but it's fun to share stuff. Like it, it is fun to work on stuff and then share it with everybody and uh, yeah, get feedback as well. Like I mean, it's also good to get some feedback because then we get kind of a temperature of what people think about stuff as we're working on them, rather than just like bunch it all up and then get all the feedback. <laughs> well, hey, hey, Jonathan, I just want to make a comment. Uh, this is Gatoff. Uh, and I want to say as far as value for the money that I have spent on a game, this game is tops. Best for, $20 for, ever spent. For, you know, for, mm -hmm. for the pricing, I have damn near 1,500 hours in this game. So <laughs> you're probably doing something right. Yep. Yeah, uh, hours per dollar is pretty is pretty well spent on this game, I think. I can't believe I have over a thousand hours on this. It's more than double my next one, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. I'm, we love that game. I don't, I don't play the game anymore. I do administrative stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. World building. I, I, yeah, world building. Lots of stuff. I I've had this game since February 2021. That wasn't very long after like the first month of early access, and, and the game runs the same now as it did then. It runs great. It's been uh, functionality. There's been you know little no bugs, no, no problems, issues. The way from release, it's been awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to hear. I think that's uh, one of the things we hear, which is nice, is that. For an early access game, it's it, it doesn't feel like uh, a work in progress too much. It's early access that feels better than a lot of uh, AAAs I've used. Yeah, look at Sons of the Forest. When it launched on early access, we played it, and it had a myriad of issues. Whereas yeah. with Valheim, we had minimal issues at the beginning. But I think even if you're lacking content, you get the uh, basic physics down and the, the bugs wired out. It actually works then add the content as you go. Finally, weather changed. Yeah, it's nice with some sun. <laughs> oh, and, and I will, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to call out any other developers or, or you know, but that, that's just not my style. But there is a game that I play that releases an update every week. And it is one of the most poorly optimized games that I have ever played. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if they manage to release an update every week, then it's probably going to be hard to keep it stable as well. So. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. So, Jonathan, uh, the theme being lighthouses, uh, is there anything that you would specifically would be looking for as a judge on what you would classify as a lighthouse? Oh, uh, yeah. I haven't really thought about it way too much yet. Um, I did see that movie with... Uh, what's his name? <laughs> Oh, drop all the names. Oh, I think I know the one. It was the black and white one, right? Yeah, the black and white one. Yeah, it had right uh, what's his Vertigo? name? Vertigo. It had the guy who played. Uh... Atkinson. Yeah, 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 Robert Atkinson. No, what's his name? Yeah, he's in there, and then. Robert uh, Atkinson and Atkinson, uh, yeah. William. William Defoe. Defoe. Yeah, that's right. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's just my first thought, but no, that's not what I'm going for. Um, I don't know, like, I haven't really thought about it too much. I guess the lighthouse should include a kind of tower-like structure with a cool-looking light that I would like to live in if I lived on an island um, for an extended period of time. Have you guys so seen uh, The Light Between Oceans? It's also another movie. Right. That's mm -hmm. pretty... So you guys heard it from Jonathan. Uh, if you don't have a tower structure, you're he's probably going to be disappointed then you'll have to <laughs> no it doesn't have to be I mean I, I'd gladly be surprised by something else that is a lighthouse yeah something well, unique so. yep yeah. I heard just, if you don't have an island you're going to be uh, missing out on points yeah exactly I'm trying to make an island if you can alright guys one minute thirty seconds until we hit the halfway point and then you guys could drop your hammers and go take a break uh, this is the required break right yeah this is the, the break where you actually don't lose time if you get up so if you want to wait to the halfway point to use the bathroom, maybe that would be better because you won't have to do it while the clock is ticking down. Well, if somebody continues to build and somebody goes to the bathroom on the break, you actually are losing time. Well, so it's a mandated break halfway through. Okay, so that was the that was the question. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And of course, we do this every month, Jonathan. So uh, each oh, theme cool. being different, 
Whoever wins today's event will choose the theme for next month. So it could be something off the wall. Like we had a, a theme for Odin's sacrificial altar. And the altar had to be usable where you could sacrifice something. <laughs> you would be surprised how many people use the obliterator as a way to sacrifice. Uh, it was really cool. Yeah, that sounds fun. It's it. There, there was a couple of using the new traps also. Oh you know, yeah, like the bear trap and spikes and stuff. Yeah. So, are you guys uh, hating the turret as much as everybody else? Or <laughs> we actually I had some issues with it, code. but. I think we're still yeah, trying to iron those out. You mean the uh, ballistas? Yeah, the ballistas are, yeah. Uh, yeah. I just, I, I couldn't figure out how All to right, use guys. them. I'll be honest. Put your hammers down. That's halfway point. If you All guys right. could please stop building so we we can go ahead and get the halfway mark started. We can go ahead and take that that break. So that's please, a uh, drop your five minute break. You can. Uh, I realize I might have picked up somebody's stone. Black marble. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I should have had full inventory while running around. I'm not sure where it came from, actually. I'm pretty sure my top stability is being interfered with by like a mod, one of the mods, or maybe admin size, because I've had things can float in the air. Oh. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to put the stream on a brief break. We'll be right back, and we can continue the other half. So please don't go anywhere. Judging phase is coming up. Who will have the best lighthouse? Will Gatoth finish his build? Find out. Part yes. <laughs> I DM'd you speed. Don't go anywhere, guys.
Hello everyone, Yarbjorno here at the Northern Embassy, here to explain and announce a new project that has finally come to fruition. In order for it to make sense to you, I want to start by going over to our old friend Google. We asked Google, what mushrooms did Viking berserkers eat? You will see that there is a legitimate hypothesis that fly agaric mushrooms were the mushrooms that Viking warriors ate in order to induce a battle like trance. It has also been shown in popular media, like Vikings. Where Rolo ate a mushroom and went into a trance, losing who he was, and ultimately, he ended up killing a man. And in the animated epic, Vinland Saga, where Bjorn ate a red and white mushroom and went absolutely insane, killing everyone and losing his sanity in the process. So enter Azumat, and now we have Fungi Fury. In Fungi Fury, we have the mushrooms. We have the war cries for both male and female characters. Let's listen to Azumat explain how the double damage works. So if I hit this tree once, Right, you can see it's 25. Eat that. Now I'm 58. It works by ingesting a mushroom and thus bringing up a 15 second timer. During this time, you do double damage at the cost of 5 HP per tick of HP loss. It is completely customizable too and has server sync. It comes with a nifty mushroom hat that you can wear. And best of all, it's live. Go over to Thunderstore now, give it a download, and please give Odin Plus and Azimat your support. Our vision now benefit the entire Valheim community. And we are back. here when you're done um i did tell him i i demanded one feature that is done by mods you guys don't have in which is gizmo and i requested the rule change for this event so that you could see gizmo in action but uh but as mods go you know you guys are doing great and uh, you know don't worry about them are you guys done interrogating jonathan <laughs> we were no, having I'm a fine. friendly yeah. conversation you yep. just about to put him in an AFK cage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. That question Last on the one hammer build. Prepared. Uh, I know. Yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, like I said, I mean, I haven't tried them before, but I do definitely see stuff, like, on YouTube and, and things. Uh, it's yes. more like I don't just, just uh, don't have too much time to play around with too many of them and just have, like, I don't want to say clutter up my files too much well, but uh, but I do really appreciate and really think that it's very cool what all the modders do um, I was a modder myself before working with games as well so uh, well, WRS if you want to jump down if you've got anything you need help with I can jump to another channel WSR um, I, I was uh, just uh, I remember someone was saying about the plan hammer and the, the X and Y plan, plan build, ah, build gizmo. Yeah. gizmo mm. gizmo oh. hit, F, hit F1 Okay. Tap on oh. the gizmo title, and yeah. the last two items I, I, I'm going to suggest I, I, I use Q and E. The X Q and E aren't used while you're building, so they're really, good. Yep. they're really convenient. They don't have a conflict in key mapping. Uh oh. Uh, Mythic long, asked though. a question in <laughs> chat on Twitch. He says, Jonathan, can we please have bone pile type spawners for the new Ashlands mobs? Um. Yeah. Maybe. Let's think about it. There you go. We can make those for you, um, Mythic. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. The modders can do everything. But yeah, let's. Yeah. let's I mean. Yep. I can, maybe. I can put a. I can put a. Uh, bring a code up and you can make a zone. So, so can I? Can I also use this Gizmo thing, or didn't I install that? So I don't can't use that. Maybe. Um. Oh, did you install it? No. No, he not. installed it. Installed oh, just the three to meet server. Just the three, I sent you. Yeah. Yeah. But you understand, 
Yeah, You'll I mean, be able to I, see I the effects. Implications. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It would just be yeah. interesting to try it while I'm here anyway, so. Yeah, I, I if you want to, not leaving voice, if you want to log out and and I can send you the link for the, just add the, the name one of the and mod back. Yep. and install it in the, you just install it on the, on the Thunderstore and then log back in. Yep. Yeah, let, yeah, sure, let's try it. Did you um, see my screenshot there, uh, Bjorno? I sent you a message. I see it, yep. That's inside the... I'm not sure where that is. I've got a portal here, so... And, um... Yeah, just show me. Just show me at the end. Is and... it Gizmo by Comfy Mods? If you want to drag uh, him no. over here this, at the end of the uh, event, that'd be nice. Uh, you want uh, M3TO Gizmo on Reloaded by Reloaded. I, I sent you the link so you can get the exact name and then search okay. for it. But yeah, it's Gizmo Reloaded. It may be an easy search. Okay, yeah. Thank there go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and call off the lots and tell me you're here and ready if you are here and ready. Lot number one. Elvis here and ready. Lot two. Aye. Lot three. Aye, Freddy. Lot four. Here and ready. Lot five. I'm here and ready. Lot seven. Uh, penis, penis. Penis. Penis, yes. Okay. I think that's everybody. Do you see what I'm saying about my uh, stability with my floating? Yeah, gear? you're not the only one. I don't know what's going on. It might be it, something it, to do with how this area was created. I wonder if, yeah. Sometimes the um, uh, an admin can affect players around occasionally. It's you don't worry. Your build something. won't collapse when we put it onto Katagat. Well, you, it'll be fine. You guys are doing great. All these builds look very unique, and it's going to be a very close competition, I have a feeling. So if everyone is here and ready, let's go ahead, and of course Jonathan will be back momentarily. We can go ahead and begin the second part of this two-hour competition in five, four, three, two, one, go. Sorsha, your lighthouse looks so unique. <laughs> it's a bit uh, spindly. It's a bit spiky. I thought it would be taller. I think it looks very very so, Um, I don't know if Jonathan has the config manager installed. Probably not. <laughs> uh, uh, it no. might be control and shift. Oh, yeah. Left control, left shift to rotate. Yeah, that's default. Yeah, that's cool. Well, you can, you, being able to rotate in all three just makes it, all the assets you built do so much more just with two simple keys. These are my I favorite think, wall. These are my favorite walls here. I think uh, plus and minus on the oh. numpad increase the number of rotations from from 8 to 16 to 32 but all the 128 at the most I think so you can get your stepping and that's all those um, that that functionality of gizmo is compatible with vanilla if you load this that build up and a vanilla world with no mods it'll stick because it's a unity feature okay yeah that's nice um, so I've got builds that are crazy and look like they'd fall over but you load up into vanilla and it just maintains that. I think I see what you're going for here. That's really interesting, Ungolian. I didn't even think to use the lamps. That's not their final placement, but I just wanted to get some lights up there before I forgot about them. I like the lamps because you don't really have to mess with them much. Like, I love the bonfire, but yeah, keep adding wood.
Helga, yours is probably the tallest tower out of all of them. And I like how you're accenting it with the marble pieces. Thank you. Because, I'm trying to make up for something. Yeah, it's because like we were talking about before, the marble and the stone <laughs> accent off each other. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Sorry. So, w did what Jonathan say said about how he ex pictured a lighthouse change your thought process at all on how to tackle this gat talk? Uh, not at all. I, I, I've got a plan, and it, it's either going to be a winning plan or not. Because um, I remember you said that you weren't planning on it being very tall. Did, are you planning on now making it taller? Uh, it, it's going to be tall-ish. Gotcha. So like five foot nine, five foot eight. <laughs> I should definitely just do whatever you want to do. Um, that's probably the best way. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Hello, Jonathan. Hello. Just inspecting. Hey. I like your stairs so far. They're very smooth. <laughs> yeah, I like... I the way the model's built, if they're adjacent, it gets a bit hinky. It's a very tight turn. I, I saw that you added the spacing. Yeah. I find that if they're, they're, it's easier to not get your characters stuck on them if you have a bit of the space. But as they are, they're versatile if you want the tight turns or not, so... Yeah. So, Sorcerer, you opted out of having stairs completely just by using a portal. Yep. Does that get rid of, like, just the usual expectation of having to climb a staircase to get up, a ta like, a lighthouse? Because that's how it would, it would be IRL. Yeah. Like, I was I was messing around with a, a normal, like, lighthouse thing, and... I completely hated what I was doing, so I scrapped it. Gotcha. I think lighthouse keepers would go for portals if they could too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh if they had the option, yeah. And a zip line. Wee. I mean, I was thinking about serious builds for this. I, I, I really, was really thinking of like a slide down thing, fun. <laughs> I want a zip line at my house now. I'm not worried about a bell home, I want a real life zip line. <laughs> now what I want to tomorrow. <laughs> That's interesting. So if you build the stone in a circular pattern with the lamps on the inside, then the lamps will be like clipped into the stone. Oh, that's giving it a light effect, right? Is that what you're going for? No, I'm not. Or are those going to be like it. windows? I, I am mostly going for drawing a giant dick. Honestly. I'm, I'm Jonathan, I hope you're impressed. <laughs> I, so I, one of the other mods we're using... Uh, and Jonathan this is a gaming term. This is a term, term for game development called TTP. You know? I mean, that's a real thing. The game developers. You know, time to penis. That's why I was trying to make a Lego game for kids and a small play person. Because there's people like me out there. We're using a mod called Build Camera, which allows us to separate the just, camera and the build hammer from the player. So they don't have to oh, okay. scaffolding holding or die when they're falling or... Uh, yes, that's, probably, that's why we added the feather cape, though, so you can so you don't have to die when you. It's basically the free fly command, except that you still have the hammer enabled, so you can build. Yeah. Die, dying it... thirty times in an hour while building something it was the reason I started playing with mods. It yeah. allows you to get a different angle or not build scaffolding. Yep. Yeah, the scaffolding. Also allows you to when sometimes when you're fighting with the clip points, if you can spin your camera around into a impossible. A place that will require you to turn yourself into a pretzel. For snapping, yep. You can still uh, avoid the pretzel and still get the snap point. Yeah. As a real-life painter decorator, architects suck. 
<laughs> you can. It's like, how the heck am I supposed to paint that? There's no way. You can get a paintbrush in there, let alone an arm. Did you guys see the snapping point thing I posted a while ago? Yes, we yep. did. Yes. Yep. yes. <laughs> yeah, we were pretty I, excited about that. No. <laughs> yeah, it's such a small thing, but I think it's going to be fairly appreciated. Yep, so, so there's a uh, all but big, yes. So typically in this event, we don't usually say that they can use Gizmo, but we we threw it in there just because we wanted to, you guys to see it. Because we thought that yep. that was something that could be easily implemented in the future. And it's an, just an idea, I thought. Gives some use to pieces that are already still in the vanilla game. You just can rotate them a different way. Gives them yeah. really wish Mythic meaning. were here, he would show it off to great, great Oh, extent. Mythic picked a perfect event to skip. <laughs> so yeah, there's, I mean, there's a lot of things that are, like, fairly easy to implement, but it's also, like, um, how should you say? It's always the question of, like, is this, does this fit with the game, like, vanilla, um, is it easy enough yep. for everybody to understand, like without overcomplicating things? And uh, I mean, I, I think it's awesome, and I really like some of the builds I've seen made with it. But um, one of the things, like some things, and I'm not saying this is one of those, but uh, some things are are really great, but might fit better in the mod universe. Like that, it's it's <clears throat> like it's a really cool thing, but it's probably Summer. a better thing to have. Like, Someone will be very unviking, right? I mean, you are an Iron Gate, so, I mean, if you say that, then we, that's how it is. And yeah. we respect that. <laughs> I would argue that I can build a pretty modern house with vanilla tools in this game. Oh, yeah. That doesn't, doesn't look Viking. Yeah, and you can. I mean, I'm not saying you can't. It's just more like, to, uh, yeah. there's, like we could add, say, 100 new functionalities that some people would love, but that would also make the game very complicated for new players. Uh, like, for example, there are some games that have been... Uh, say updating for years and years and years and they're loved by the say most hardcore people who've been playing that for every year like constantly because they're they all they're always in need of new things but if it's very difficult for a new player to start playing the game right. then the, because the price like of entry keeps systems. going up what i yeah, thought like, was maybe make an iron hammer that you can craft and then that hammer has the extra axis that way it feels because there's an upgrade to almost every weapon in the game but the hammer doesn't have an upgrade maybe that would be a way to introduce it and just well, thought. Yeah, I, I mean, thought it could be a toggle like when you turn off auto pickup. You just talk, you know, in the menu setting, do I want an gizmo functionality or not? Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, uh, like everything is up for our discussion and like thoughts and, and so on. So, I mean, you never know. We will see where, we're, where we where, where we end up. I mean, it definitely does make things uh, interesting. For people who want to want to have it, so. So you guys are approaching Ashlands a lot different than you guys were approaching Mistlands. Uh, do you feel that that allows you guys to be more creative when it comes to that new ideas that you guys are implementing in Ashlands, or is that going to just be like you guys have a, a end goal and you guys are just implementing those those ideas? Ah. Uh... I mean, everything is always uh, a process. So, like, there's there's tons of ideas. Like, there's always been ideas, but then when you come down to it, like, you have to specify and design up everything, and like, you have to build it, you have to test it, you have to see how does this feel, how does right. it relate to everything else. So, I mean, there's there's not really a set exact design that we're following. Like, exactly, it's more like figuring out what is the best way to build it at the moment. You could, you could have mapped out the whole thing, but wouldn't have survived contact with the keyboard. Yeah, pretty much. Do you guys feel that Ashlands is, is something that maybe can be completed sooner since you guys have an idea what you guys want to do? Um, sooner than what? Sooner than what, yeah. <laughs> Sooner than what? Sooner than how long Mistlands took from Hearth and Home. Yeah. I, I, I will give a fairly definite yes that it won't be as... Or wait, from Hearth and Home. Depends on uh, what date you're counting. But, like, I mean, if you count, like, biome to biome, plain, um, right. planes, planes to Mistlands, which was, like, 
uh, quite a long time. I and mean, we pushed in several updates in between there, Hearth and Home and the Caves update, yep. and wasn't it something else as well? Uh, yeah, the... Um... From Hearth and Home to Mistlands, it was about a, a year and two months. Three months, something like that. Yeah, exactly. And then we also had the... The caves abomination after, in there and the caves, caves after that. So, yeah. I, I got to ask you something, Jonathan. Did whoever mm -hmm. who designed the 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 uh, design for the Gyal were they a StarCraft fan by chance? <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to ask. Uh, you'll have to ask Grim. He because that thing. Do you know what an Overlord is? Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I mean, I played a ton of StarCraft one. Yeah. I'd say I, I played the second one a bit, but but mostly StarCraft one when I saw that thing with the tentacles down and then the, the ticks come out of it like zerglings I was like yeah. this is an overlord but I was not expecting divergers at all when Mistlands came out so you yeah, guys came out of left field with that one I wasn't expecting any other I don't know if I would classify them as an NPC but they're other living creatures besides the mobs that you know they want to they have their own like faction and they you attack them, they attack you, etc. But they're different from the usual deer or even seeker, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was yeah. more Overlord mixed with uh, Protoss Carrier. <laughs> the Gyal, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's also part of the fun part of not having shown anything that I guess, I mean, nobody has seen any of that until yeah. the first played the, it. The very first time you're wandering around and you hear the Gyal, that's... that's fun little surprise <laughs> yeah or very the world time, war the world's esque or the first time rogue visits us you in game yeah kind of similar <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah they're pretty nasty look up <laughs> yeah. uh, i hear them <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't got that uh, sound effect bound to a key, uh, Rogue. I, I need to do that. I need to get some sound effects. Just put them right over the microphone. <laughs> it's those uh, death mosquitoes. You hear that buzz, and suddenly you're it's, you're triggered. You just your pulse rate goes up. Yeah. <laughs> Eaters. Yeah. Yes. The the audio for that is just great. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't find something to shoot at. He'll drop live ticks, not tamed ones. <laughs> so you have them There's... passive, or you can can you control them, or what are you doing? There, uh, I'm spawning them in tamed. Uh, there's uh, the administrative mods we're using: server dev commands and world edit commands. They have the code in to tame anything when you spawn them in. So can I pet the? Pet the owl as well, then, or? Yeah, yeah. I'm. Mean, well, I don't know if there's a, a pet button interaction, but you can jump on top of it. That uh, could be a new uh, moat. <laughs> yeah, we need a, a jolly moat. <laughs> we yeah. do. No, um, pet, pet, <laughs> pet boar. Yeah, actually, when we were building those, like part of it was like it would be fun if you could ride on them. But then we realize it's probably will never happen like in vanilla if you that you will actually be able to jump on top of them and ride around uh, ride around on them. So yeah, sure. that shake is um, if you can get up one of those big really stone good. spikes, you can. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in theory, you're probably good. Yeah, I've like jumped on one before. Shake you off as well. Yep. It's like Ditto. Cool. Yeah, Jonathan. We I was it harpooning them. Off, doesn't it? You harpoon him, you drag him down, so he's low. You climb the mountainous mistlands, and you jump right on top of him. I was, I was standing on him, knifing him until he shook me off. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a it's a great. Of those and, um, no, it's a great experience. So I saw that you guys are going to be implementing a barber's table. Oh, spleen. Yeah. Howdy, howdy. Yeah. I mean, it's just a... Uh, yeah, just a uh, when is it? The top missing, dude. Is yeah, I'm a... not down yet. Ah, okay. Cool, cool. It's just a small item to be able to change your hair and beard and stuff. Um, which, of course, people kind of could anyway using the console and everything, but it's just nice to not have, n not have any functionality 
require use of the console, really. We've already received a, uh, a, a barber shop area in uh, the other server. <laughs> yeah, we're, <laughs> nice. we're ready for it to drop. Yeah. yeah. And, a, and a sign saying, coming soon. <laughs> okay. Uh, Actually, I couldn't put a TM next to it. Need the TM next to soon. Trademark. <laughs> Hopefully not the Blizzard Entertainment soon. Oh, yeah. It's a, no, no. It's not an, an EA soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> so please don't. <laughs> so Mythic, yeah. go ahead. No, I was just going to say, it, it'll be out as soon as it's done. I mean, it, it'll be in the Hilders update, which is, yeah, I mean, not too far away. I don't know. We don't have dates on anything, so whenever it's done, basically. Speaking of the Hilder update, uh, do you know how... Will Hilder be as difficult to find as Haldor? Will you have to, like, search uh, around all the continents until you, he finally pops up on the map? Or will you, he be sort of like how the crow comes up and tells you, Hey, Hilder is where Haldor is, or... It, you know, maybe he's standing next to him. Because I always... I noticed you guys have mentioned a few times that Haldor's alone and he's a loner. So maybe he has a friend? Um, yeah, I mean, it it'll be, be a, it'll be a separate location. So you'll have to find, uh, you'll have to find her. Okay. But, but, um, I mean, yeah, I guess it could be as difficult to find her as well as Haldor. Um, that would be a half roll and she moves every three days or something. <laughs> yeah, that oh. would be, that would be worse. Yeah. <laughs> Are you saying that there's multiple points and there will only be one, the first one you find? Uh, I mean, yeah, that's how Halder works at the moment as well. I'm yep. not sure. I'm, yeah, yeah, so same it'll, with the it'll, it'll, not not final, not finalized. Yeah, exactly. nothing is final. Whatever I say is like take it with a pinch of salt. And oh, definitely. Salt. Yeah. It is nice to post You can say whatever that. you want. <laughs> a a but, black marble fireplace would be or hearth would be really really cool. Oh, yeah, that's true. There's always there's always more things to more build pieces that we could add. Well, that's one thing I really appreciate black about the black marble is the texture scales properly. They resize more... the pieces. Need... They don't the pixels don't get bigger on the black marble. We need more of these, Jonathan. Of which ones? Right here. Mosquitoes. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, we need less mini, of those. Mini Berserker. <laughs> <laughs> so you can scale things as well, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make some giant, That's... some giant things. We could, we could put giant trolls out in the ocean, and they're just walking like Godzilla. Oh, nice. Yeah. <clears throat> but you, do you have so you can scale the build pieces as well, or? Yes, actually, that's what's through this portal when we're done. Yep, we have something prepared earlier. Okay. Courtesy of Speedo. Yep. And you, it, it, me and three hours of it's me, a separate me and three it's hours not of the, sleep. Uh, Gizmo one or. Oh, it's yeah, uh, it's pretty much anything I can manage uh, in a short period of time, and a combination of everyone else's uh, efforts. It's like you would have noticed our uh, portal hub, where we had a portal when you first came in. Yeah. Uh, we had a portal at each boss stone that went to the boss. Yeah, on the back side of the boss um, stone, we were able to build the portals there, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so when the, when the players need to or want to go and replay the bosses, they can just go to the stone, pick the... Um, and go pick the, you know, yeah, words. WSR, I'm impressed, man. Thank you. This is impressive. Um, That's what she said. I hope that it, you can finish it on time. Uh, yeah, I know. My time has always been really close every time I practice. 38 minutes. Uh, oh, you're doing really well for, uh, oh, for oh, crap. 38 minutes to go? Or... Oh, yes, it is. And of yeah. course, after the event, you can always come back and continue building on the structure. Other people could come and tour it if you're watching and you want to come and look at these builds so you can log in and walk around and go inside and of course uh, between events you can always come here and practice we have a spot for practicing just to the side of this area
You can even see some of the old builds still up over here. Uh, where? Directly east of where you're east. at on the, the Meadows eight. Island. Okay. Is this from last year or is this year? Was... Uh, the the earliest ones with the like the boat and uh, the car and stuff are December, I think. Okay. We've had one one a month, so that's the fourth we're on now. Some got removed. <laughs> That's nice. But there's still more way over there, yeah. It's all of those ones that are um, just build camera. Alone and vanilla. With those... Five. With those same admin mods, <laughs> we're able to level the terrain like this and make this grid with just a couple of commands. Yeah. So, like, uh, I mean, I know a lot of people are a bit upset when we release updates because then all the mods break. Like, how many of your mods break every time we update? So many. Not. <laughs> it depends. It depends uh... on the server. That's why we run this modded server because there's so very little that's necessary. It's it's quick to fix. And what actually you your guys are aware of it. You fixed the problem by adding the default old branch. We can switch to the previous version and ignore the new patch until the mods are fixed yeah and we usually go with uh mod creators that are usually pretty active in the valheim community some of the ones that don't update their mods you, their mods usually get marked deprecated and we just move on from them so usually within a less a week or less all the mods are have an update usually so it's not long that we're on default all as well yeah that's pretty neat i mean how many would you say like how many mods have been abandoned I want to say a good 25% of all the okay. mods we've used have been deprecated Band, or abandoned. It but it's it's not a lot, but it's quite a few. Yeah, Some people a, move on a, or or they just, you know, they don't do mods anymore. Or they I could look, but I've got the 38 minutes left according to <laughs> Oh, you don't have 38 anymore. You have 34. What? <laughs> world save incoming. So like if is is there any like um really popular mod that wasn't that got abandoned that's like does somebody else step in and, and do a similar mod then or is it just like lost forever? There was a mod called Shipyard that got abandoned and it was a mod that allowed you to place an actual shipyard uh within a certain radius of your actual ship, like your carve or your longship, and it would allow you to modify and add pieces to it or take pieces off to customize what your vanilla ships look like it was a custom ship right that you have to use they had their own boat yeah. in there and you would add a tent piece a little bit of fire uh, enough to get some comfort while on your boat and storage more storage space there was different upgrades that you'd you'd get resources for and there is a, a shipyard um building piece on land that you would interact with to change make changes okay and that one's that nobody like made a new one of that one that was abandoned or right it was, uh, it was abandoned came back with Miss Lens, so he has released the update since that's good to hear but if i know for a good year he has hit that mod was was deprecated and i know that he usually the modding community is pretty honest with each other and if they tell you please don't re-upload my mod usually people will listen uh they usually don't like stealing from each other uh, Valheim Plus is a completely different story, but that's uh, for a different day. But uh, <laughs> yeah. the uh, mod creators are with each other. They have like a code. So when he left, he basically told them, not, please don't re-upload my shipyard mod. And the group that he was doing mods with didn't uh, re-upload it. So we lost that. We had a couple builds with that mod that vanished. So Back in... Yep. 
back in May, I don't know if I think it was April, I'm guessing around May, um, you guys released a, an update to Valheim. And our Kattegat server, our modded server, it was using a mod called Better Continents. This mod let you, you could take like a, uh, a terrain map that's like a shaded map, black to white, and convert it into a, a, the map of the world. You could set the terrain however you wanted exactly. You could make a, a height map. Height map with the, yes. yeah, with the black and white. You could well, get a photo of your mother, turn it to black and white, and have her portrait being the world map. The, the server, the server, and all the clients needed we all to. Love our mothers. The server and the clients needed to run that mod in order to see the terrain changes. Otherwise, you know, the seed generation takes over for how the world looks, and that mod didn't get touched. And it, we waited two weeks for something to happen, and and talks with the mod author or messages from him that he wasn't going to be working on it. So we were had to drop the mod and start the server over. We had to make sure that we installed mods that we weren't dependent on that change world generation or something that we could drop a mod on Katagot if it doesn't get updated and continue using the server. We couldn't use it as it was without the mod. Yeah. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah, so it happens. So we've we're you know, we're car careful about it. We know what what's going on with Valheim updates. And a lot of the mod authors are aware of someone accidentally loading up in vanilla, so they make their mods not break. And if uh, anybody, in yeah. in so Twitch, they save aren't ruined or anything, which is really nice. If anybody in Twitch has any questions for Jonathan, we could take one or two chat questions. If you guys want to ask Jonathan something while he's here, I know Mythic's been asking a lot of questions. I know that I see quite a few of you. I see double digits in viewers right now, so. You guys are here. I have a question for Jonathan. Are go you ahead. okay with us asking you more questions? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> good question. That was my really question. good question. I probably should have asked that first before we started grilling him, right? <laughs> you guys are doing that during the break. <laughs> No, we, we ask these questions because we, we love this game and we're passionate about this game. That's why we do events like this is because we feel like the, the ceiling, the skill ceiling for both building and what you could do with the actual game is just endless. It's a sandbox game. Yeah, I mean, I'm very impressed with all the builds. Like, uh, there's so many people have made so impressed, so... Uh... So, such amazing, amazing things, and it's really nice to work on a game that, that you get surprised by what players do, and you can see screenshots and videos of stuff of people, uh, things that people do, and it's yeah, it's really nice. Exactly, I we're going on two years, and I still get surprised. That that's not something I, I get with any other game. I'd still like to have us to have a uh, mini locks race sometime. We just haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> Oh, that's a really good question. Uh, do you guys have any intentions of adding something more? I don't know. A, a travel friendly a than a man. than a lox, maybe a Cat horse. Cat chariot. chariot, Cat chariot, and Freya. <laughs> Cat, Cat chariot. chariot. Cat, Cat chariot. Freya who had a chariot drawn by two giant tabbies. Oh yeah, I mean I know. Uh... Elisa would love to make a cat in any in any shape or form in this game, so you should bug her about it, and maybe she will. So we've got a creator called Marathon who's got a cat mod. You can't use them to run a chariot, but one of the biggest issues with uh, uh, locks is they will damage your own base if they with an AOE. Oh that's yeah, that's a little, little frustrating. If they start defending themselves, they uh, can cause a little bit of damage. Yeah. Uh, I mean, um, I know lots of people want a horse, but uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. But uh, I mean, I, I I would think that there might be another. Uh, I, I, I doubt that we'll only have one mountable creature in the game. Gotcha. Uh, by the, awesome. by the end of it. But That's great Here to you hear. Try, Jonathan, I love the mountain. Here, you can try this out. I mean, you could just make it to where you can only ride a two-star wolf. They're already pretty beefy. Just make a saddle for that. I mean, there's yeah, some yeah, exactly. there's some Ooh, stairs nice. back here. A warg. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. 
if, rideable if we, bunnies. If we had more light, you can see your your legs are like sticking around his. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That works pretty well. It yeah, it does. What's funny yeah, is that one broke. Uh, he's riding he's riding a baby lox. The, yeah, yeah, what's funny what's, is what's you scale? you you spawn a uh, zero point two I think. I. You uh you spawn in the saddle and it's full size in front of you on the ground. And you pick it up in your inventory and when you put it on the saddle scales to the lox. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I love having my big curved monitor, but it makes it really hard to angle to match things up. I keep getting the angles wrong. It's all good. <laughs> Who was talking smack about I wouldn't finish? Mythic. <laughs> of course. I, I'm through Twitch sure chat, not through voice, because he's hiding. I'm pretty sure you were uh, sitting down relaxing at the end of the last build competition when you get us. Yeah. Um, while everyone else was still going, you had already wrapped up. And if I remember correctly, there was a couple of things that we nicked him on that if he would have just taken an extra five minutes and look, followed through his build. Uh, you got to have that coffee break after first for a while. Five minutes. Well, one of the things you nick me on this time will not be friggin' storage. <laughs> I mean, how could you live in a place with no storage, Gatal? I would love to live in a place with no storage, because then I'd have no clutter. Yep. Ooh, this is really cool. Uh, yeah. Melga? There's one issue. I only had one torn stone. Uh, in the thing, and it allowed me to place more than one. Oh, he took uh, lighting to a different whole nother level. level. A different, well, maybe not another level, just a sidestep. Mm. <laughs> Left field. <laughs> okay. This is it. I like how you use the the, hear, the hearths uh, sideways. Gizmo, man, Gizmo. Yeah, Gizmo they, for the win. I love they that. Can be can be nice. Beds on wall. They do the hearths sideways do look interesting. Look Actually, I, I think Knife had showed me that at one point that hey, you can make a fireplace. Oh, that was in uh, the your kill hall. Yep, which, thank you so much, Jonathan, for the Frost Caves. That is actually where my guild hall is. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> nice. So I guess you have the, like, build and dungeon mod or something like that. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even on this server, is allowed. it's allowed on this vanilla server to build in a dungeon. Yep. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's one of those quality of life things Can that you doesn't go in? really affect uh, the, uh, the balance to too much. Uh-oh. Not working? Uh-oh. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it would be awesome to just let people build in there, and you could in the beginning, but... Um... Even a, just a simple troll cave, you can fit an entire... and uh, everything you need, if you're constructive. Yeah. I've lived in a troll cave uh, <laughs> three times. Yeah, I mean, okay. yeah. We're talking about in the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, oh, same. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. There too. I wasn't actually meaning real life. <laughs> oh, you haven't lived in a troll cave in real life? Did your parents Speaking is that what they call them in New Zealand? Right now, no. <laughs> Sorry? Is that what they call them in New Zealand? The caves down by down by the river? Down by the river. The old eye ho ho Um... Okay, put the... I should have brought my feather cape so I could just jump down from these towers. Oh, uh, we can. Make we can you get one. you one. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. We're so, 22 minutes one? and 50 yeah. seconds remaining. Um, having you die, because we've got another mod. Oh, it's not, you probably don't have it turned on. Called Darwin Awards, <laughs> uh, which is optional. 
and it pings the Discord with a random death message depending on what you like discovered gravity or meep meep or something like that. Deskido is your nemesis is another one I remember. Yeah. Um, so that's quite interesting. Because you could be sitting at work and someone else is playing the game and you can look at your Discord <laughs> for five seconds and go, holy I, uh, crap, how many times can you die in God mode speed? Uh, uh, apparently <laughs> I forgot to break before landing. Yeah. <laughs> that one's a, that's a popular one. I'll watch you. This server, uh, vanilla in gameplay, so everything that you see here, if we were to, like, take the building and drop it in, like, a server with no mods at all, all these buildings would still look the way they do. And there's no mods to interfere with the core mechanics of the game, other than the, the additional access for the build, for the, for the uh, hammer. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Katagat has what, like, sixty-two mods or something on it. But yeah, we 60 something, 60 something. seventy some if you are on the admin side of things. Right. So that server, uh, we're literally, on, yeah. we got people depends writing on, yeah. lore and stories for that yeah. server. So we're literally creating our own quests. We're using a quest system. Yeah. So my admin pack has only got forty in it. So trim the fat. I don't know what the rest of you are running. And how many players do you have on these servers? That kind of fluctuates, but... Um... Yeah, Katagat's had 38 people log in in the last three since Miss Lands launched. 338 so different people on modded server and on the Asgard. I want to say... How many people play on this server? Quite a bit. I said it was like 50-something? Uh, All time? Uh, that's that's players. I think I think we've had like sixteen on at once for part of Miss Lands. I'm just looking. I can't see it. Yeah, when Miss Lands dropped, everybody was there. So that's the uh, part of that message. There you do, go. Do uh, we we've, had, we've had fifty-one total log into this since Miss Lands. Do we have trophies anywhere over here? I didn't see we any. Do. Yep. Okay. Two, two chest name trophy. Okay. So for a minute, Jonathan, we actually had a an actual sponsorship with a company called North Spirit, mm -hmm. and we would do gift card giveaways at our events. Uh, at the moment, we have moved on, and we're looking for a new sponsor. So, if we, you're yeah. interested, we're we, uh... no. I'm not saying that Iron Game. I'm just saying <laughs> that. Uh, for not a, for the stream and for uh, for this event specifically, our reward would typically be a gift card. So the lighthouse wins this. We'll get their lighthouse on our modded server. It'll get moved over there. So it'll be enshrined there forever. Modded server. Yep. Yeah, it's up to about six thousand. 300 days or something like that at the moment oh wow yeah yep it's been um, since since uh june or Jul the beginning of july around july 4th i think is is when that start server started going yep kind of gets as old as as long as old as i've been playing Valheim. asgard got reset when missilins dropped this server here but is the is the world like uh you don't like use up certain resources and stuff or if there's so there many players is, on one server. There is a mod called Upgrade World. Yep. Knife uses that and will restore um, dungeon resources. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so we, can, we could just put crypts back within a thousand meters of spawn or the whole planet, depending on demand. Yeah, so we've actually learned a lot and how the game functions and how the mods work with it. So now we could probably extend the lifetimes of our servers forever because we know how to respawn the dungeons and bring in resources back for new players. Yeah, and Katagat, we've got 
NPCs with quests, you'll walk up to uh, somebody that looks like a player with a name floating over them and take a quest, and it tells you to go talk to somebody or make something or f collect things. And Free then it gives rewards. It gives rewards, and you can have events where if you complete a quest, you get teleported to specific coordinates. Yeah. Uh, it's very cool to see like yeah, those types of mods that really extend the game somehow. Yes, yes. As as mods to extend extend the game, yes. Yeah. Alright guys, seventeen minutes, thirteen seconds. <laughs> no The finish line is within view. Start wrapping up your builds. Oh man, WSR looking good over here. Yeah. It's gonna be hard. I mean I think uh, all of them are very good in they different are. ways. So what will happen is when the competition ends, me, you, uh, Jonathan, and Speed are going to be the three judges for the competition. So, Jonathan, where do I send that bribe to? Oh, yeah, you can have my... Here of Speed, New Zealand, my... It's street... Oh, sorry. But what will happen is us three will go into a separate chat channel. Uh, I'll, of course, let you know where that'll be. And we'll judge, and then we'll come back and announce the winner. Sounds good. He's so tiny. Yeah. I can't spell. S P E L L. Um, I have to museum actually. Hang on. Get back to what I've done. Uh, typing. It's gonna take me forever Google. to spell that for you, Speed. F O R E. T H T H A T. E I C T I O N A R Y. So, museum? I've got actual, can't spell it. M E S U M M U S E U M. M U S U E M. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Cool. That's um, one thing you don't have is an uh, auto correct. Can you please add that to Wilhelm? <laughs> well, you mean spelling. Spell check. <laughs> Did you spell check? <laughs> no, unfortunately, that'll fall on the New Zealand public education system. Uh, no, it's, it, it falls on my mental health. No, it's, <laughs> no, no, it's worldwide. It's it's not yep. a country. <laughs> no, it's it's a reliance on auto cucumber. Uh, my phone actually prompts autocorrect as auto cucumber because I typed it in wrong too often it now thinks autocorrect is spelt auto cucumber for me. <laughs> yeah, you have to, when you're from the South you have to teach your autocorrects lots of words like y'all as one word with the apostrophe in it. It's really it used to be really difficult to teach the phones. It's better now. <laughs> oh you you're not you're not talking about the creature y'all, you're saying y'all. Yeah, like y'all, like you all. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, and there's lots of. You can have multiple parentheses, or little things in 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 Texan, because you you all would have is y'all the. <laughs> y'all the. I'm not making this up. <laughs> She's never heard that one before. She's not. You all there, would have. Yeah. There are several thousand teachers rolling around in their grades right now. <laughs> Well, we have Texas education, so. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we are 13 and a half minutes away. Seems like there's missing a roof here, or is it just me? I was going for uh, air conditioning. Okay, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, I like big builds and I cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Is a factor. Right, you starting to feel the crunch? Oh. Must... Like Captain.
So did any of you, uh, does anybody, anybody here own an Xbox? Are you PC? I do know, but I've been enjoying the uh, memes coming out of Reddit on it. <laughs> 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 well, that that got I fixed, I think. Yeah. I know, it's still fixed. Like a couple days, oh, I think today starting. or yesterday. Yeah. That was starting. Which part of it? <laughs> we still, have, we still, we're still having some issues. I mean, the the biggest ones have been fixed, but yeah, sadly there were some some bugs. It's not Jonathan. It's, it's called contractor. It's called early access. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's not it's a still... bug. It's a feature. It's, it's... <laughs> it says it on the label. It, it's not. It's not Iron Gate. Bill Gates has a little button that he pushes that fucks up everything and. <laughs> he had his hand in that somehow. <laughs> yep. There's, there is the whole compliance with the console. Whoever just, the console supplier is, you've got a, it just you've let got a bunch of constraints. Yeah, there's some stuff. One thing, um, one thing we noticed as PC players is you optimized um, for console. And you actually, in some cases, reduced performance of PCs. But my computer no longer uses the RAM it used to. <laughs> I got 32 gig to play Valheim, but now it won't use more than five. <laughs> I mean, using more memory uh, doesn't really make the game better. No, right? but it's <laughs> it's nice to know that I didn't spend money on on Valheim alone for no reason. Yeah, 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 I can understand that. <laughs> you can run several instances though, so you could like run Valheim four times instead now, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to have four Steam accounts though, that's... Yeah, good. but then you could you could buy it four times, I mean, then that's, that's <laughs> yeah. supporting us more. Oh, I'll, I'll, yeah, you're okay with that, Jonathan? <laughs> that was yeah, good. yeah, I mean, <laughs> you need to support us, right? So, why not? That's right. We've made it more efficient so you can buy multiple, multiple copies. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, uh, I wouldn't say we're definitely not optimized in a way that that would ever hurt PC. Like, PC is definitely our main focus. Um, and, like, all the optimizations that are done will just improve improve the game for everybody. And, like, in some cases, like, we did have some reports of people actually getting reduced performance, which we, which we were ver very surprised about. Uh, but that's always going to be the case. Like, you change, anything you change could also give, like, side effects for... Some people in certain cases that you haven't really thought about. So, uh, I mean, I know that the cases that we found, like we have found fixes for those things as well. So it should be fixed, hopefully. Too many hardware, software cases and video drivers, hardware drivers. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I mean, yeah, it's so many. the hard thing with PC yep. is that there's, yeah. Unity does a lot for that though, so it helps. Yeah. But there will be I more mean, I'm, like I'm not uh, I'm not complaining. The performance is really good. It's four four gig of RAM and four gig of graphics. It's just uh, I'd like you to have a bunch of extra settings to stretch the. <laughs> well, somebody just built a boat. <laughs> yeah, I see a boat. That. It is totally not doing what I wanted it to do. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's not intentional because it looks great. No, it's because the mast has got a large uh, hitbox. You can't get it to. Um, like Master's oh, fist, sorry. The ground. <laughs> yeah. Trying to push hey. it on. Ah, no, nice! No, if you still have that, no, if you have that uh, blueprint, he's trying to take it out. <clears throat> can, can I request, um... What would you like done with the boat? I can put it where you want it. And shove it where you want it. I'll tell you where you stick it. There's a wreck graphic. So, you... what, what do we got left time-wise? Eight minutes and thirty seconds. You want a wrecked boat? Yeah, I want a wrecked boat on the like rock here. So you don't want the the floating boat. You want the model. Wrecked yeah, the boat. model of the damaged boat. Well, that's that's in mint tools. You can't do that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we could just smash this boat up for you. Uh... If I can have a boat smashing party. <laughs> what, was he, what were you doing yesterday? You were setting fire to a boat somewhere, weren't you? So, uh, just, just as funeral. a side note, Gatoth is currently chilling in his bed. <laughs> you, you could build a frame for a boat if you had a bit of cool with the Helga. Did you rebuild it, Gatoth? 
I did. Because <laughs> some jackass claimed both of them. I won't name the certain jackass. <laughs> well, you got one guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, time to start wrapping things up. You guys got seven, less than seven and a half minutes. For those that, and then it'll be over. For those not on the end joke, I will go around and claim beds because people build in this competition, but they don't claim the bed. So, <laughs> all my in the server. Apparently, is Rogue is my roommate. <laughs> you're so, sleeping uh, around. That's the problem, Rogue. <laughs> <laughs> so you're so so by claiming a bed, you're telling me that you're going you're going to help me uh, keep up the lighthouse. Um, I may be your roommate, but I own some of these others because they only have one bed in theirs. Oh. <laughs> See, I, 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 he gets around. He gets around. I, I, I didn't <laughs> feel like I could tend the lighthouse by myself, so. Oh my god, so many stairs. Yep. Another tool we use is uh, blueprinting builds. So we can actually copy an entire build, save mine, transfer it to another server. Okay. How um, do you select, uh, like, a build? Uh, generally, it's uh, selecting the selected uh, connected pieces. But oh, there's okay. other tools that allow you to individually select pieces as well, or an yeah. area. Okay. Basically, copy or, paste or, function for Valheim. A column yep. from the ground up. With undo and, and the like as well. Yeah, undo nice. and redo. Elga, ignoring your um, bonfire on top, just just the very top of the structure, mm -hmm. you're you're one to two meters taller than WSR's tower. Yep. So I'm gonna go and over. Win. You win well, by the height. Tower. You win matters. by height. I win by height. By length. I win by default. All right, so I'm going to go over scoring real quick. So we're judging on a point system. We're going to give 10 points for technique, 5 points for originality, 5 points for theme, and 5 points for utility. So 25 points total. It'll be somewhere within 0 to 25 scale. And, of course, we'll go over each uh, its own... I guess you call it its own section, right? Technique, originality, theme, and utility. We'll go over each one separately during the judging phase on what each of those mean. But technique is mostly going to be, like, how unique is the build? Do they use certain build techniques that maybe you haven't seen before? Is it something that you would classify as a high-tier build? Originality would be... Uh, were they original in their concept idea for a lighthouse? Is it just a standard, basic lighthouse is, does it have a, a cool way of like coming into it inside does it give you a unique feel does it or is it just you know basic theme would be is it following the theme of today's event and does the build come together as a cohesive idea is it not a bunch of fragmented ideas that kind of come together as a jumbled mess and and that's the build and then utility is can is it serve its purpose that can you does it have a bed that you can rest in does it have a fire you can get your rest bonus does it have light as a lighthouse you know those being utility so that at least gives you an idea jonathan a little bit on what we're going to be judging these guys on and is so it so i give like uh, just a question though so i'll give each build like zero to ten on technique and then zero to five on original exactly. or... okay yeah that's, yep. that's good and I DM'd you the scale so that you have something to reference. Yep. How many? How much flint? We're gonna jump to another channel anyway. Are we beyond? Yep. I think we still got about five minutes, and we pulled this stream. How much flint were we supposed to have? Three minutes, seventeen seconds. Flint. I believe there was five stacks total to start with. Five there, stacks. There's only ten, and we've been complaining about it for the last two uh, competitions. I'll need to yeah. fix that. Only a 10. Uh, while we're, uh, well, we're uh, waiting uh, for the judging, let's uh, modify the, one of the unused ones to what we like, and I'll take a blueprint for next time. Yep. Sounds good to so me. So what would the uh, suitable amount be? 
enough to make all of the uh, crafting upgrades to, uh, for starters, plus some extra. Okay, we, we could take a note, and because um, I think you've got all of that on a spreadsheet, haven't you? No, most of those things. I have a blueprint, and there was one of the fields hasn't been used. Two of them haven't been used today, so we should have plenty of room. This is a really cool looking lighthouse, Helga. In fact, for a navigator, I would be disappointed if you didn't make a cool looking lighthouse. Thank you. She is officially done. All right, guys, less than two minutes. It's sad to say that Gatoth is nowhere close to finishing, huh? Can someone get all the debris off the top of my roof? Yeah, get, get, Gatoth always finishes. Uh, have you got any mm -hmm. other drops that you don't want, um, Angolian? We can do that once the time's run out, and I can do everybody at once. I, I would prefer if we waited till the with... end. Yep. I'll wait till the end if that's okay. You don't have to actually judge why I'm just being a jerk today. Oh, well, I appreciate you turning up. Whoever's in number one, I love your giant concrete penis. Thank you. <laughs> that, that's what she said. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of set that one up. That that was a softball. It's totally compensating for wood. I'm 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 sorry about that boating accident. I'm yes. pretty sure my tower is thicker around them. <laughs> you guys will be judged on the fallacy of my my mine is squarely the best. Earth is where it's worth. They're not supposed to be square. See a doc that. There should be a scoring for like uh, puns slash dick jokes during the event as well. Exactly. How many can we make? That is the real question. Did, this didn't is the reason we, why you never want to use a counter. Didn't we get up to like almost a hundred? That's what she said last event. Oh, but it was up there. I mean, we did add. Three, that's what she said to the two, uh, nitro one, on the Discord. That's it. Do I get points for conquering? Drop your hammers, please. That is the end of the competition. Uh, no, I've, uh, I've added those flint to zone six. There's four stacks of 30. Hope that's enough. All right, I'll take a blueprint of that. Cool, cool. All right, so Jonathan, me, and Speed are going to go to group chat one. It's the voice channel directly under this one. Sure. And we'll begin the judging phase and we'll return with the results. See you guys on the other side. Hello. Hey. So okay, what did so you think? One or Yeah, I think we should start at one. Makes sense, right? All right, speed, so do, speed. Go ahead, Jonathan. So do we type these out, or where do we... So I've just shared my screen. If you want to uh, watch that, I can change time of day so you can see night, day, cycle, without or weather or anything as well. Um, just so you can evaluate if you want to check lighting and whatnot. Yeah, and he's sharing that on Discord, uh, Jonathan. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Nighttime lighting would be a factor, but you, I guess you won't get both effects for every build. So what we'll do is we'll write down our values, and I'm using WordPad, but uh, at the end, you guys will DM me uh, your top three. Okay. And then we'll go from there. I mean, you, you could always use skip time, or and then we'd always be at the same yeah, time. Yeah, well, just... Right? Um... I th yeah. think it's client dependent, so it would depend who was at the site first. So anyway, our night time, if we start at 1. And again, the oh yeah, the wisps are jumping in at the right time. 
All right, so we'll begin at number one. Helga, the navigator, is on lot one. And we're going to start with technique. So on a scale between one to ten, Jonathan and speed, what do you guys feel about Helga's lighthouse build here? Feels very lighthousey with the stairs like that. Yeah, okay, yeah. so you're taking the notes. We don't have to write it down, or... You'll just... so we'll write down your own, uh, okay. your own okay. values. Oh. Yeah, yeah I, I like the stone tower. I think it's, like, uh, slightly um, asymmetrical, which is nice for a stone tower. It feels a little bit evil somehow. To Jonathan and no, it's wanna... fine. No, it's fine. I, I can just write it down. Okay, so no worries. So, personally, this lighthouse, I think it would be... Eight? On technique, I'm not yep. really seeing yeah, many mistakes on like the the way he lines up the the stones, or is this one that's kind of jagging out here and there's a hole? Uh, but I don't know if he did that on purpose. I kind yeah, of feel I like definitely it's on purpose, go with like... eight. Considering uh, I've seen some of Helga's early builds, his his um, technique has improved heaps. What were you going to say, Jonathan? I was gonna say I think it's uh, I think it's intentional uh, to make it feel like an actual uh, yeah. like not super straight tower. I right. also think it's really nice that he um, uh, worked the ground like so it's built on a little hill with a little path pathway as well. That's a really good point. Yeah, no, he's he set the terrain. You know, he's did this with his last build as well. He added that flavor yeah mythic on chat says uh there's a ton of misalignments but it might be on purpose we agree mythic does it and uh let's go ahead and move on to the next one the next one is originality so on a one to five scale does this feel like an original thing or is this something maybe it could be procedurally generated, it's so basic, or... What do you think, Jonathan? Um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, I mean, it's it's original in the fact that it's not just like a standard lighthouse, but not, I guess none of these builds are just standard lighthouses. Uh, and I like the top using the wisps as well. So I think I'll put it at a... Four. Four. Okay. What do you think, Speed? Yeah, if you can um, note down mine, I've um, got several things going on here at once. Uh, for technique, was it? Yeah, it's one to ten. Yeah, I'd be with six. Okay, and originality, one to five. Four. I think I'm going to also go with a four for originality. So theme, the theme for today was lighthouse. How much did it, did it come out as a lighthouse? If you saw it on a hill as you were running in and your first time ever seeing it, would you think lighthouse? Definitely stands out. What are this? What's this one out of out of five? Yeah, five. Yeah. It's... If it was on a hill, yeah, definitely four. Off. Four. Yeah. It needs it needs a bit of height, to me. The other ones all have a bit of more height on it yeah mythic makes a good point was there was there meant to be a bonfire on the top of this because it looks like he made a spot for one but he didn't mm. put it there Is it he... looks like it uh, failed because the parts were up here earlier so i'm guessing there was there was a certain core and um core wood and stuff up here but i don't know if it um actual integrity thing or um 
Should we ding yeah, him on that? Because he built his structure vanilla, but the structure didn't hold the part, the most important part, the light from the lighthouse? Um, I don't know. Because everyone else has got the same... Yeah, because I see bonfires across the way. People were able to get their lights up. And I can't give you an accurate um, thing. Everything is blue on mine because of the settings I've got. So I don't have, I can't tell you what the structure is up there. So that, of course, would uh, be in the utility score. So Jonathan... Jonathan might be able to scope the actual structure and figure it at the top. Yeah. Up a hammer. So yeah, the last if, one being utility, one to five, uh, the utility if you being, have a hammer, doesn't uh, fulfill its purpose. The, can it do the things that it's required of? Being a lighthouse has to have like a place to live and it has to have a light guiding vessels on the ocean, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, yeah, like you guys are saying, sadly it's missing the fire. Uh, I'm not sure like if you guys wanted us to judge that or not. Um, but I guess it kind of should, I guess. Uh, I like Truly, the bottom floor. Yeah, it's like an it's not it's a nice little like a uh, lonesome lighthouse guy uh, dwelling, but it's it's a bit small. If I were to live there, I think I'd be depressed. So, but oh, it's okay. very it's I mean it's very uh, cozy. But I, at the same time, this is like also one of the most lighthousey lighthouses of these. I agree. So. Definitely gives off the vibe of a lighthouse. It can't be anything else. Unmistakable. Yeah. I, yeah, exactly. So I mean, I don't know. I like if we're if we're, I'd, I'd give it a four. But but if we're counting that the act, it's actually missing the, the light at the top. Maybe I'd have to go for a three then, if that's supposed to be counted in or not. Makes sense. So, I guess. so go ahead and tally up your totals for Helga on lot one. And it's out of twenty. Is that right? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. After you guys voted, I was going to say this would be a good uh, Mistlands lighthouse, maybe. Yeah, true. Yeah, it does feel a little bit like an evil, uh, like, dark magical tower as well, which is nice. I'm just thinking of the wisp lights lighting the way through the mist. Yeah. Oh. All right, so we can go ahead and move on to lot number two, which is Gatoth. So originality, I'm sorry, technique. It is pretty cool looking. And he did use a couple different accents with the different pieces, like the using the metal grates versus the the dark wood panels. They contrast very well. Not too much as far as like interior decorating, besides just the, the couple banners he put up, the the red jute. Uh, curtains. Alright, so it's nighttime outside, so I'd swap to uh, daytime view. Give you guys the contrast. If you're watching. So, 1 to 10 for technique. Personally, I think this is like a 7. Sorry, I got real life uh, things going on. Oh. Rogue, do you want to step in and judge and let speed? Oh, I can do that. I, I'm just um, I'm just gonna make sure the neighbor's three month old puppy doesn't like run out of the street. But um, I've just closed the door. I'll just oh, let, okay. send a message to the neighbor saying I'm keeping her for an hour. So originality. Does, this definitely looks like what I would not expect a lighthouse to look like. What do you think, Jonathan? Yeah, I mean, I, I like this one. I think, uh, what should I say? Like, I think it's really well, obviously well lit, but like uh, detail-wise, it, it's really filled out the space well. Um, I guess the actual structure is a bit, a little bit basic. Uh, and I mean, it's, it is a lighthouse, 
ish, but it doesn't really feel like a lot. Of, I mean, besides the fact that it's a lot of lights in it, um, uh, I think it's. I do really like the design, but I feel it's a little bit less a lighthouse than the other ones. Um, I think. Let's see. What is it? I think I will have to give it. So technique is technique like building technique mostly, or yeah, it, it's basically is he using the the vanilla pieces in a way that would make the build stand out more from his competitors? Uh, yeah. Is he is he just a really good? You can usually tell by looking at a build, a higher tier build, versus like you were saying, like a basic building, the the technique involved, especially since yeah. you're so involved in the the background of the game. <laughs> yeah, but you'd be surprised, like how I mean, I love, I do love building in this game, uh, but uh, you guys have probably all built, spend a lot more time actually building things than I have. True. So it is. Uh, I wish, you could, I wish there was a way to like uh, that. Part of the building was that you could actually walk up into these like second and third ish floors. Yeah, isn't it yes. expected for a lighthouse like to go up and have like a view up at the top? Yeah, you exactly. Have to refill these. Uh braziers and stuff too they're not um eternal yeah all right i have so my I scores for lot two whenever you guys are ready just let me know okay. all right uh, um, yeah uh, i think i'm ready as well for that one let's see what i have and of course if you guys are on twitch and you guys are watching hit that follow button so you guys can see updated on what we got going on. Let's go ahead and move on to lot number three. And who is lot number three? This was WSR, wasn't it? No, this is Knife. Knife. Yep. It actually looks like a lighthouse. It does. It has functionality. Yeah, I mean, I like the fact that this one has a, an actual house attached to it as well. Um... A bit of living space. It's got a decent amount of storage, two iron chests. I mean, it's not going to blow your mind, but if you came across it in the wilderness, you would have a place to store some goods and gear items and stuff. It has a bed tucked away. Yeah, and, and the actual lighthouse interior like actually looks a lot like a real light, lighthouse, which is which is nice. I mean, it's 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 a little bit interesting. Like they we're both judging theme, which is like how much of a lighthouse is it, but at the same time, originality is like is it too much of a standard lighthouse? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that kind of brings it down. So we kind of made it to where like even if you're not the best builder. But if you're super original with your build, you can overtake someone who's more skilled. Yeah. And that has happened. We've we uh, Helga won our last event, and he's he's a sailor. He doesn't typically build a lot, but he just was really good at that theme and was super original and made up for the technique with the with those two originality and theme. Yeah, I like the. The stairway, like both that there are these uh, that he's splitting it up a little bit, but yep. also like the lights and the and these little triangles in the corners and the and the windows and stuff. So it, it feels really well made. The actual staircase. In my opinion, the tower is almost the most important part of a lighthouse because that's what's immediately gonna. You need that tower structure because vessels out at at sea have to see that from pretty far. How yeah. taller it is, the the more efficient lighthouse is going to be. So this one definitely gives me that feel, and it definitely could serve that purpose on our servers. Yeah, and I mean, I really like uh, I really like this one for a lot of ways. Uh, I would actually like to see it a bit taller. At the moment, it feels a little bit more like a watchtower than a lighthouse if you look at it from the outside. Right. Because it's so thick, so it could easily be a floor to higher. Very true. Mid. Definitely taking the uh, mobs into account. Defensible. Yeah. 
So 10 technique, 5 originality, 5 theme, and 5 utility. Technique, I'm probably thinking an 8. 8 or a 7, I'm, I'm, I'm torn. I like the little floating roof piece he's got here separated with the iron beam to let the smoke out, out at the top. Oh, yeah. All right, I have my scores for this one. Whenever you guys are ready, let me know. Yeah, me too. I'm done. Yeah. Oh, they even uh, have yeah, a um, carrot field. So it's 10-5-5, isn't it? Is that right? 10-5-5-5? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Just making sure. I uh, skipped number two, half of it, because I was distracted by flying Staffordshire Bull Terriers. No worries. Um, lot four, when, if you're ready, speed is Sorsha. Um, vegetable garden. Garden. Outside cooking area. Little campfire thing going on for the nice summer months. Built-in workbenches and chests everywhere. Food on the table. Little touches. Now, it, I believe when it starts raining, the bonfire goes out because it has no roof, right? Uh, bonfires are waterproof. They do okay. not go out in the rain. So she has her it's light source. And she's also using the uh, the Galder tables also to get like a purple light. Sorry, I'm just having to ditch some stuff to use the portal. Yeah, that's also another thing. If she's using a portal, she needs to have storage down here because people may be carrying things that they can't portal with. Yep, she's got oh, yeah. built in. It's quite a lot. Yep, she's thought of that. She's also got workbenches awesome. built into into her building itself kind of tucked away yeah yeah i like the lower like the the room uh, the, the down below room it's very cozy as well and the yeah the interior is very nice i think like um i mean i i do really like it and the, <laughs> especially if there's a garden as well like the like my initial thought is it doesn't quite feel like a lighthouse but it definitely is so it's, I guess it's a bit more on originality there maybe a little bit less of a lighthouse for me but gotcha but I guess I mean it's definitely is a lighthouse I mean looking at it from afar it will serve its purpose yep so I feel like this one is a little bit higher up on the technique scale I gave this one a nine And with originality as well, it's like you said, it just didn't really give you the idea of a lighthouse, but when you see it in game, it's going to serve its purpose as a lighthouse. You're going to see it from your boat. Yeah. And she has positioned it to be viewed from this uh, platform here too, for those without fly. Which is nice. Yeah. Like the rotations set up for this angle. We're well, yeah, pretty much where Jonathan's at.
cooking. Right. The cooking is outside, though. That's too bad. That would that wouldn't survive the rain. I actually just noticed that, so definitely uh, when, it would take a hit when on the you're rendering down that uh, whale blubber. You don't want to do it inside. So that part of that's a uh, time constraint too. All right, I have my scores. Whenever you guys are ready. Yeah, me too. All right, so lot five is our newcomer, uh, WSR. But he definitely was an underdog in my opinion, and he delivered big time. I really enjoyed this build. Yeah, I really like, um, really like the design. Um, it feels like it's, is it maybe not completely done or? or yeah, is it, it doesn't look like it's got, had time to finish the roof. Uh oh. Yeah, it feels but, like there uh, should probably been a roof here. Um, he's and also got the. He hasn't put. I. Oh, yeah. He's got his lighthouse for sure. He yeah. just hasn't got the house. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. It does feel like it could use a bit more lighting, um, besides the actual lighthouse, like maybe some torches or lights inside. But I do really like the lighthouse tower with all the grates and windows and stuff. I like this this doorway here too, that it has to the actual tower itself. Yeah. And the tower itself is really well done. The accenting with the core wood and the regular wood and the iron beams gives it a very open feel, even though it's really kind of tight in there, because you can kind of see outside and see the view. Yeah. And of course, there's a magnificent light source at the top. You can't really walk around in the tower, though. No, That's you can't. Bad. And it looks like his roof may be choking the fire. Oh, yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. He would have needed a, a little bit more time. This is definitely... Uh, with If it was finished, it would definitely have... It, it could have won. Yeah, yeah I think so. art and progress, by the look of it. Yeah. Because as well, like the house down here, like, I mean, yeah, it needs a roof, but it also needs... Uh, a bit more lighting and, and interiors and items and things down here. But it could be really nice. Yeah, love the floor. That's awesome. The uh, yeah. points of the compass built in, north, south, east, and west. That's a really yeah. smart idea. Themed. Yeah. So he'll most likely take a hit on utility because he didn't finish the building. But on technique and originality and even theme, his lighthouse is complete. Will that be enough to really boost his score where it needs to be? I have him down for a technique of nine. Yeah, and originality of that. four. But of course, you guys can make your own decisions, just sharing what I think about this one. Theme, I think it uh, it's definitely like the other lighthouse that the first one we judged. It is the epitome of a lighthouse. There's no mistaking it. The house itself uh, may have come back to bite him by not finishing it. It I feel like the house side of his lighthouse is it's lacking. Yeah. But yeah, given a bit more time, I think this could be my favorite one if it was finished. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, you can't really say either until it would be done, but like potentially, um, yeah, very nice work. Then again, like, I guess also, I mean, it's a bit more focused on the actual house than on the tower. I mean, the tower is very nice in itself, but it's, uh, and it's really nice to walk up, but it's very um, small, like thin, and, and you can, there's not really a lot of room up there as well, which is fine, I guess.
Should we go to the yeah, next I think one? I that's the difference with um, comparing ah, knives. And uh, this one is the extra spacing for the spiral stairs really becomes noticeable at that height. Yeah. I think that's the difference between their two tower sizes as well, is that just that extra spacing for there. So we can go ahead and Jeez. move on to s lot number seven, Sungolian. <laughs> she definitely stuck to her theme. <laughs> uh, even the uh, the hair from the uh, straw roofing. Oh. Uh. Oh yeah, okay, that's what <laughs> So her light source is just a couple lamps and <laughs> and that's pretty much her light source. Um I kind of feel like this one is not complete too. Are you guys getting that vibe from this one? Or is this Yeah, well, she was um, struggling to get it balanced at the end, so she just whacked that together and went with it. She had a, a couple of things un unbalanced, so she just got it got it done as best she could, I think. So, Technique, I have her at a 6. Originality, pretty it's, pretty, it's pretty original for a lighthouse to be this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the... Uh, it's actually the most original out of all of these, I think. <laughs> Should get the bonus point for that, I think. But does that make her theme suffer? Does it... Does it appear as a lighthouse? It limits, yeah. Usability, maybe. Does she have house parts? She's got all the other parts. Is there a bit? Yeah, I feel like, uh, I mean, I feel like it's a little bit like utility wise, there's nothing real to use. Yeah, chair and, and a table, it's quite no bed. Well. Okay. And it's also missing, like, uh, any kind of lighting inside, except. At the top, so it's right. very dark inside the tower as well. I like the uh, the ring around it <laughs> in the middle. Yep, attention to detail is definitely there. Like most of the builds, with more time, these these all could have been near perfect lighthouses. Yeah. So. Like, uh, with the two-hour time limit, you're going to have to crunch and really get as much done as possible. So we have to judge what's complete. Do you yeah. guys have your your scores for this one? Yeah. Cool. All right, and I believe that's it. Go ahead and ta uh, look at your guys' scores, and if you guys could both DM me your top three, and we'll see who the winner is. I'll just send you the whole oh. thing. That works, yeah. <clears throat> see if this works in Discord, but... Nope. <laughs> I got it. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, I see. I don't know whose oh, scores those are, though. Yeah, exactly. I'll uh, send you a picture. Wait, Thanks. You got the number at the top is yep. the lot number yeah gotcha yeah done by lot number as well um i can't remember the names currently just the lot numbers 
It'll be 11 o'clock in the morning here in about half an hour and I can actually go to bed today. <laughs> yeah, I gotta head to bed fairly soon as well. Oops. Yeah, let's see. I think we may know who our winner is. We have uh, one other thing we'd like you to have a look at before you go, if it's possible. Yeah, sure. Or and you're always wait. welcome to come back any time you've got the pack, you know where we are. Yeah. Alright, so with you speed, I'm seeing a couple ties with your scores. Yeah. You're going to have to choose between 1, 3, and 5 on who your number 1 is. Yeah. So, I got 4 for 1. Um, and then I had 320s. Ah, yeah, you're right. Um... Yeah, so Who's your second so place, second, I'm sorry. Second and third. Okay, so you want like first, second, third from us. Well, I'm looking at your guys' scores and getting that from the scores. Um, well, but with there. speed, he sent me one that had like three. Three of them had the yeah. same score. Yeah. Like a. Yeah. So who's your second place, speed? Between Helga and Knife. Oh my god! Um, I'd have to go with Helga and then Knife third. Thanks, uh, uh, Gator, which, for the which, follow. Which puts uh, WRS back to fourth on mine. Jonathan, I'm going to ask a question real quick. All right, go ahead. So I was lo just looking at this. I've got this skull for spawning skeletons. All the weapons are right-handed. This is left-handed. Is can we? Is there a dual-wield option going on here? Why is this one left-handed? <laughs> Wait, which one? You mean the the skull? The skull right here. Um. Yeah. Let's see. What was it. this? What was the story behind that? I don't remember. But we were adding a we added a left-hand <laughs> weapon type for that one. Here's. I don't. Yeah, I don't did... remember the discussion actually. To be honest, why we put it in the left hand, but oh. I think there was a reason at the moment. I have. Uh taking a look at all, all right. the scores and i think i have our victor so if we want to just pop back into the event broadcast channel we can do that okay. and announce the winner victor wasn't playing no he he took the day off <laughs> judgment right. away right. let's stop talking about them <laughs> all right all right, guys. So we went ahead and we did all the scoring for all the builds. Some really cool builds here, guys. Uh, it was really close. And I had to go in. There was a couple that had, like, there were ties on. So we had to break the tie. And I think we have our winner. All right. So with in first place with an average score of 22 points. The winner is Sorsha. Congratulations. Ooh, thank you. In second place, uh, with an average of 20 points, we have Knife. Congrats. Really? And finally, in third place, uh, with an average of 19 points, we have WSR. Congrats. Hey, congrats. Thank you. So, some really amazing builds here, guys. Uh, congratulations. And, of course, if you guys want to come back and work on your builds after the event is over you guys are more than welcome to do so and if you need a copy of it just let us know and now there's nothing left but to show uh show jonathan what speed has been working on and what we've all been working on that means we're gonna have a johnson in the museum of architecture we are uh if we could just get biorno and um and jonathan to go through because there's a high one. instance count who will uh, yep. cause uh, lag. The Iron Gate one here so, or which one? Um, just get, I'm, I'm trying to t spell, sorry. My brain doesn't do spelling. Um, I was supposed to be naming the portal and I named the... You named the sign. I see. Sign, yeah. <laughs> right, there you go. If you want to jump you? through there, Biorno and Jonathan, everyone else can jump through in a moment after they've had a quick evaluation. Uh, we can't go into it, Speed. Um, sorry. Yeah, it sunk down in the Sign floor. Is in the way. I forgot to turn collision off. Oh. Yeah. Um. Now, if you go through, there is a chest there. Please pick up 
a piece of iron from the chest to deactivate portals because there are a couple of things in there with portals active so it makes things look a bit funky <coughs> of the uh things okay now what i go see you all later bye angolian okay. see thank you bye. See you later yeah, so if you just want to go to, up, up uh, to the runestone there, you can have a little read. Yeah, just grab grab a piece of iron and then um, read the runestone and have a look inside the building. Yeah. Sorry, I haven't added light, uh, more lighting. I was distracted and haven't had much time today. All right, we're inside. So yeah, those are some of the past builds we've had in the competition. Uh, so oh wow! Builds an okay. example of what can be some of the things that can be done with. Some of the mods. <laughs> are they loading up for you guys? Yeah, they are. I see. Yeah, them. Yeah, That's yeah, really yeah, cool. Yeah, it's, sorry, it's uh, it's like eleven thousand instances. I couldn't uh, get it <laughs> lower without. And I guess I guess when sample. you scale it down so much, then there's a lot of tiny little pieces here. Yeah. But that's very cool that you can see miniatures of these things. So yeah, some of the things didn't quite scale properly, like the flame effects, the portal effects, uh, and the shields are the ones that stick out the most, but... Yeah. Ah, <coughs> uh, that's very neat, though. I so, haven't seen this yeah, before. Just, just a little bit of a... I don't know, Easter egg, you might say, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's really nice. <laughs> so thanks, Jonathan, for coming today and, and hanging out with us and letting us grill you regarding all the various questions we have regarding this game that we all love so much. And, of course, you are always welcome to come back and do something else with us again. Love to have you. And uh, anybody have any closing thoughts or anything for Jonathan or anything before we call it a day or a night for most people? I have 2,811 hours in this, and it's your fault, Jonathan. <laughs> I don't think it's only, only my fault. 2,000? 2,811. After eight uh, months, I'm at 2,200 and something. Gladly, I, there's a bunch of I other people working on this game as well, so it's not only my fault, I think. But thank oh, you're you here, for making blame you. an absolutely amazing game. That's yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. Thank, you for, thank you for playing it and enjoying it and, and spending... Uh, so much time in it <laughs> well I, I as i said before i think i've gotten my money out of it a thousand oh. times over yeah if you feel you haven't you're always you're welcome to request a refund uh, i'm not sure they will give it to you at this point. <laughs> no, I don't how many how much time do you have uh, I've about three thousand hours the check is in the mail that's it's right. so funny when you see the reviews on Steam, like, negative review, oh, game is horrible, and then they've played for, like, 2,000 hours. Like, why did you play a game? <laughs> why 2,000 hours? Uh, or, uh, or, or those that bash developers when they themselves probably couldn't do 10% of what you guys do. Brent, hello. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's also the ones that crack me up are the ones that have played These for, are like, 40, 43 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And give you a negative. It's like you haven't even got out of the meadows. <coughs> All right, guys, I'm wrapping up the stream. I will go awesome. mute here for a minute. But uh, Jonathan, if you're not here when I get back, I thank you again for for stopping by. And we wish you guys in Iron Gate the best. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Have a nice evening. Yep. Thank, See thank you. You guys later. Thank you.